Hey everybody, welcome to One Cent Sports Cards. Going to do a little bit of testing before we get started here. So give me a couple minutes or a couple seconds. Just, uh, that's not what I'm looking to do. Um, where is it? Where is it? I just want to test, make sure our sound is live, make sure I can get in. Um, dun, dun, dun. Give me one second here. Looks like we're good. We're good. Starting a little early. Can I hear myself? Yes. All right. Like Going to mute. We're good. Starting a Okay, so starting the stream a little bit early tonight, um, only because I, I think we got a few spots to fill, so I figured we would start early, plus I got a few things that I was going to kind of go over that are kind of new with the channel and whatnot, so I figured I would get started. We'll wait for uh, more people to show up. Uh, I did. We're starting about eh, 25... Yeah, about 25 minutes early. Um, but what we're doing tonight is the Gallery of Chrome break. Uh, what this will include is a Topps 2019 gallery. Um, this is the Monster Box. It's got 20 packs in it. We are going to do not one, not two, but three Topps Chrome update boxes. Um, it's, I know a lot of people have been breaking those. Hey Isaac, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna lurk. I'm, I don't know what lurk charging my phone means. Um, I think you mean I'm gonna try charging my phone. Um, but hello Isaac, uh, how are you tonight? I hope you're doing well. Um, and then another thing, only because I know we've seen a lot of these a bit, uh, a lot of these. Um, Tops Chrome boxes have been open. That some of them are so far. Everyone I've seen open has been really good. Um, there's a high chance that we're going to pull an auto out of one of these. Last week when we broke a couple of these, we actually got autos out of both of them. Isaac actually got one of them. Um, but then we're also going to throw in one more box tonight because I know there's a couple other people that are going to be streaming tonight. So. Um, I kind of wanted to make sure that we were being valuable. Um, yeah, you're listening, but not watching chat. That's not a problem, my, uh, Isaac. Um, the one thing we will be doing um, as an add-in bonus is we are going to throw in a chance for bat down Acuna tonight. Um, not only that, but it is Series 2 update, which has obviously a ton of rookies. You've got, you know, everything from... Soto, uh, from Soto to Otani to, I mean, there's so many rookies in the 2018 series too. So we're going to throw in a blaster box that, that is an additional 101 cards. Um, so all of this, Hey, Brendan, uh, boss, um, is that bro? Is it, so Brendan boss, is that, uh, B O S does that stand for something? Um, thank you for joining the stream. Um, so anyways, as a bonus, we are going to throw in a 2018 Series 2 blaster box. So um, the price on the break still not going to change. Uh, what we'll have is uh, $10 a spot uh, plus $4 flat shipping no matter how many spots you get. So just add $4 to how, however many spots you get. However, if you buy four spots, I will cover the shipping for you. So you can get four spots uh, for $40 flat. And we'll be breaking five boxes tonight. Um, and we're guaranteed at least two autos. Uh, but in these Topps Chrome, we've been, if you've watched any of these uh, being opened, you've got a good chance at another auto, uh, maybe even more. Last week, we kind of had the same scenario. We ended up with four autos. And um, we, I think, wasn't one of the autos also the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold to 50. So we did pull one of that. Um, Hey, KC Nation, how you doing? Um, thanks for joining in. Um, that's just your last name. Uh, like I said, Boss. Hey, that, if, you know, I wish I could go around in life saying that my last name was Boss. Um, I don't 
have the pleasure of doing that, but that must be awesome. <laughs> hey, David, how you doing? Um, so like I said, uh, the spots in this break are going to be uh, 10 bucks uh, and then $4 per... Uh, $4 flat shipping no matter how many spots you get unless you buy four or more and then I will cover the shipping for you. And don't forget we are going to add in a box tonight of Topps 2018 Series 2. This was not part of the original preview video that I did but I'm adding this box in. This is a chance at Akuna Bat Down plus a bunch of other rookies that we had that are in this. Um, the 2018 Series 2 set is a hot set, has been um, a lot of good rookies in there. So definitely a cool, cool break tonight. Uh, but I'm most excited about opening up the Topps Gallery box. Uh, that's got two guaranteed autographs. I did a preview video of um, I did a preview video of Topps Gallery about. Uh, well, I think I posted it on Sunday. Um, I think I broke the box on Saturday, posted the video on Sunday. Um, it is a really cool set, and I can show you some uh, some of the stuff that you can expect to see out of there. First of all, the rookie set is good. Um, these are just some of the ones that I've pulled. Uh, there's the Eloy. Uh, there's the Keston Keystone. They do have Kyle Tucker, uh, Austin Riley. Key Boom, um, Cavan Biggio. Uh, this is actually one of the um, the uh, inserts that you get out of here. This is a Miguel Cabrera. Um, so I think you get, if I'm not mistaken, there's two or three of these for, per box. Um, Framber Valdez, which by the way, I'll show you this card. Um, this is actually uh, the private issue. You get one or two of these per box. They're kind of hard to pull. Um, but the private issue is numbered 40 out of 250. Now, here's what's interesting about this card. This card actually is an error card because that is Josh James. And if we, uh, I don't have the Josh James card. If I do, I don't have it sleeved up like this. But um, the Josh James actually shows Framber Valdez. And the Framber Valdez actually shows Josh James. So this is actually a... No, error card numbered to 250. So, um, so uh, this is one that I would keep an eye on because this will probably come out that it is an error. There are a few errors in this box. I think I'll be able to show you another one here in a little bit. Um, then there's another cool insert. Um, yeah, the the uh this set is a really cool set with the artist renditions um and i'll be honest the boxes i've opened two boxes of this and both of them have been really nice um i'm going to show you some of the highlights out of both those boxes just to kind of uh yeah so this one the framber it is an error card um you'll see a couple videos that have gone around today about it but yeah that's josh james who was also on houston um and then uh josh james card actually shows framber valdez so that so the names are reversed or the pictures are reversed. You choose. But either way, those two cards are going to end up being error cards. Um, then these are the Master and Apprentice inserts. These are really cool. Like it's got Tony Gwen and Manny Machado. So it's got stars from the past and the present. And then it also shows a little bit of the city that they represent behind the uh, behind the. Um, the two players. So I'll show you some of these. Like, for example, there's Ted Williams and Mookie Betts hanging out at Fenway. Um, the Dakota Hudson. Yes, the Dakota Hudson one. Um, I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, it's uh, Jack Flattery. Um, here's another one. This one's really cool. This is New York with the Empire State Building with Babe Ruth and Aaron Judge. So that's a cool insert that they've done there. Uh, then they've got the... Uh, this one's funny because, watch this. Um, so in this one, Manny Machado is the apprentice. Well, I'll even show you. So it says Manny Machado, he is the apprentice in the Master and Apprentice. Then on this one, obviously we have Tatis here. Hey, EH, what's going on? Thanks for joining. Um, this one, Manny Machado is the master. So apparently Manny Machado is capable of being a master and an apprentice in the same set at the same time. But this is Fernando Tatis. Um, 
And then uh, some of the other ones they have in here, this is the top heritage insert. So this kind of has the throwback to the, uh, the a lot like the heritage uh, sets that came out earlier in the year. So this is Gary Sanchez. You say Kikuchi, uh, another Manny Machado. Uh, there's a there's the Juan Soto, so that's one that we'll keep an eye out for tonight. Um, and then um, there is the high number short prints. Every card uh, that is numbered 151 or higher is a short print. And the other way you would know it is down here at the bottom, they actually have an additional stamp. Um, so this one is a short print. This one is a Corey Seager apprentice. Um, there's other ones that say artisans. Uh, there's other ones that say masters. Uh, but this little stamp down here will let you know it's a short print. So that's a Corey Seager short print. And then this one is one that uh, there's a little bit of a, this penny sleeve got a little dinged up, but it um, looks like my I don't know what that is, uh, but anyways, um, so this one is an error as well. This one is kind of awesome because it is an error on one of the inserts. So they have the Hall of Fame inserts here. So this is Mel Ott of the New York Giants, except for that picture is definitely not Mel Ott. That picture is most definitely Christy Mathewson. Um, and it isn't even close. This one is really, um, you can you can even go back and look at uh, earlier this season in Top Stadium Club. They had a Christy Mathewson card and um, they had him in like his, it was like a, a big winter trench coat. And it is almost this same exact image. Uh, he's just a little bit older. But Mel Ott had a much smaller frame. Um, hey, Eddie, how you doing? Um we are kind of going over what some of these cards look like uh, tonight. Um, so, anyways, this one is also an error. So, that is not Mel Ott. Kind of an interesting one there. 99% um, sure that that is Christy Mathewson. This one, obviously not an error, but that is Mariano Rivera. Uh, there is the Frank Thomas masterpiece. There's Chris Bryant. There's a couple more of the Heritage. So there's Buster Posey. There's Aaron Judd. So these are some of the inserts that you can pull out of here. Um, here's some more of the Master and Apprentice. Like that's Yelich and Yount. Uh, there's another one of those Babe Ruth and uh, Aaron Judges. Then there's a really cool one. This is the only one in the box that if we pull one of these tonight, we'll have to raffle one way or the other. Uh, we'll roll dice. One, two, three on the left four, five, six on the right, but it does have both Vladimir Guerrero's. This is senior and junior, and it's representing uh, the Expos and the Blue Jays, so Canada. Um, so this card um, with the nice Canadian flag in the background, kind of a cool card. Uh, here's another one of the high number short prints. This one says Artisan. That is of Correa. Um, there's a Masters one with Chipper Jones, also a high number short print. Adrian Beltre, not the biggest fan of this artwork, um, but that artwork right there, just that, compared to how good some of these are, um, this one leaves a little bit to be desired, but there's Joey Gallo. There's Ted Williams as the master. Hey, KB Cards. Hey, EH. Um, there's Mark McGuire, um, and this one is done by Kevin Graham. Um, which Kevin Graham, I met on Sunday on YouTube um, and asked him a little bit about the cards. Um, he actually was gracious enough to say that he would sign one of the cards for me that he did. I might have him sign the Mark McGuire. That'd be a cool one. Um, and then there's the Cody Bellinger short print. Then there's, uh, let me show you some of the let me show you some of the other cards, uh, some of the bigger hits. So here's one of the autos we got. This is J.D. Hammer. This is a fun card um, with the auto. Uh, but not only that, just the glasses and everything about this card. This is a totally fun card. J.D. Hammer of the Phillies. Um, here was a Clayton Kershaw private issue. Uh, this is a, the, all the private issue ones are going to be numbered to 250. Um, so that is a really cool card. As you can see, some of the artwork on these cards are absolutely beautiful. That Kershaw is just amazing how awesome the... Uh, and then what I do like is the artist took the liberty to put like a little bit of a shorter bill on the cap. 
um, to kind of give it that old school feel. Uh, but that's a really nice one. Here's another nice auto we pulled out of this. This is Lu uh, Luisa Rise um, on the Twins. Um, this is a sweet, sweet, sweet auto. Uh, this guy has been really popular. Um, these are, so this is another nice rookie that you can get in this set. I also pulled, I don't think I have the video of this one, uh, but this one will probably stay in my personal collection. Uh, but this is a Mike Trout green, uh, parallel. This is numbered. Of course, I would get this one as a Mike Trout fan. This is numbered one out of 99. Um, Hey, KB Cards, what's going on? Um, so this trout right here, um, I mean, that is a sweet, sweet card, if you ask me. Um, this one didn't just get a sleeve. This one also got a, um, that one also got a top loader. This is the Pete Alonzo rookie card that you can pull out of here. Um, so that's the Pete Alonzo. Here's another one of the autos. It's a Danielle Ponce de Leon. Um, so we pulled this auto as well. This was another awesome, awesome, awesome auto or not auto, but uh parallel insert. This is the Roberto Clemente. Um, this one's numbered to, let's see, 99. Um, but the Roberto Clemente, this is the blue parallel, really sweet card here. Um, Hey Clark Z, uh, Checking in on break. Yeah, Clark, uh, that first, thanks for getting in. Uh, we have a few spots to sell. I'm going to, I'm going to go into sell mode here in a little bit, but I was showing off some of the cards that you can pull out of here while we wait for some spots to fill up. I started a little bit early, so, um, I don't think everyone's here yet, but as soon as we get filled up, we will go ahead and break tonight. Um, but in the meantime, this is uh, seems to be like one of the nicer cards in the set from an artistic standpoint. This is the Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. Um, this is just a sweet, I mean, with the glasses, uh, really good, uh, I mean, really good artwork on this. Um, these cards are just simply beautiful cards. So, again, here's the Arise. We also pulled a Frank Thomas masterpiece. This is a green parallel numbered to 250. Um, so another Hall of Fame uh, serial numbered card. Um, so this Frank Thomas here uh, is a sweet, sweet card. And the other one we pulled, this was actually a third auto in the box. So there is a possibility of pulling three autos out of this gallery box. Uh, Pedro Avila, this is a blue parallel. I, if I'm not mistaken, it is number, yep, number 38 to 50. Um, and that is autograph. So uh, Pedro Avila, a nice, nice little auto right there. Uh, serial numbered to 50 only. Um, so, uh, KC Nation, uh, well, I am one cent. I know Stryker is streaming live right now. Uh, but if you want to know who IPC, um, IPC, Mike Trout, um, and basically any Angels. Um, but then on top of that, um, right now, the one of the, I'm obviously doing Acuna, but so is everyone else. But I have been hoarding all my Acuna cards, unless I have doubles of them um my one of my favorite cards i've pulled all year um is an acuna from tops inception it is the most awesome card i think i've pulled all year and that includes the pete alonzo to 25 i pulled out of what did i pull out of bowman chrome uh the uh, the jersey relic auto um then the final uh, the final card i wanted to show you guys was i did get a bryce harper um parallel this is the so this is the base card blue parallel uh but this one is numbered 40 out of 50 so the all these cards got pulled literally out of two of these boxes um so i haven't listed any of them yet um and so that kind of gives you an idea of what is in tops gallery because i know it's a brand new set not sure if all you guys have seen it yet so what i wanted to make sure is that you guys uh knew that that was What's in the box kind of give you an idea. Um, we'll go over what's on the checklist. But to reiterate, now that we're kind of back, um, the Cedric Mullins collection is profound. Um, the uh, 
No, it's not a douche move. I get it. I watch two breaks all the, uh, um, I watch two, three breaks at a time, um, on the regular. I get it. People go back and forth. That's why they make tabs in, um, that's why they make tabs in, uh, web browsers. So you can go back and forth. But anyways, so here's the break tonight, guys. We're calling it the Topps Gallery of Chrome Break. The reason we're calling it that is we got one big old box of gallery right in the middle. This is going to be 20 packs of cards guaranteed to have two autographs per box. Um, if you watched my preview video of this, there uh, I actually pulled three. Then we will be doing three boxes of Topps Chrome Update. If any of you guys have been watching that, which I know some of you have, uh, there is a good chance that we'll pull some more autos out of there. Um, it's been a really hot set. Some really cool cards, some really good rookies. And then to sweeten the deal tonight, I'm throwing in 101 extra cards of 2018 Top Series 2. What's big about Top Series 2? Well, this has a potential to pull a Ronald Acuna Jr. bat down. Um, so the we're throwing this one in just as just as an extra into this break because um, I know we've got a couple other people streaming live. So to get into this break, here's what we're going to do. Um, it's going to cost you $10 for, per spot. Um, four dollars flat shipping for uh, however many spots you buy. So if you buy one spot, it's four bucks. If you buy three spots, the shipping is still going to be four four bucks. If you buy four spots, however, or any more than that, I will cover the shipping for you. So it'll be ten dollars flat for um, no matter what. If you do four spots or more, if you do three spots or less, just add four bucks in shipping, and we will open all five bucks uh, or f five uh, boxes of these tonight. We got a ways to go on this break, but we've got time. So um, the uh, other thing is I will put my, um, I thought I had put it in the, I guess I didn't. Um, I should have put my PayPal in the note. Um, maybe I'll try and fix that here real quick. Uh, but here is the PayPal that you can send uh, payment to. I will put that in the stream um, at Gmail. Don't mind my dog. My dog has really discovered barking lately. Um, so let me see if I can... I'm going to have to g give me one second because I do all this on my phone. Let me see if I can get this thing. Um, pull the green auto Pete Alonzo. That is amazing. Um, yeah, if you're pulling that card, um, that green Pete Alonzo would be just absolutely awesome. So here's what I want to do. Um, give me one second. I'm going to, this may get a little dizzy here for a second, but just give me a space. Give me one second, and I'm going to see if I can't update my, where I can get PayPal. I thought I had it in there, um, but I, PayPal is, uh, D-B-H, I, uh, there we go. Um, okay. Uh, and, of course, it didn't want to take that. Um I tell you, hold on. It is so much easier to do this before. Um, pay. Give me one second here, guys. PayPal is. I want to make sure the PayPal is actually on screen so people know where they can send stuff. Um, so, update. Of course, it's going to want to do all this fun stuff. Not sure if you guys are going to be able to read this now, um, but that should do. We'll go like this. We'll go like that, and then we're going to go like this. And now you guys should see. Um, no, nope, that did not work. Uh, that did work though. Let's see. There we go. The PayPal is now on there. Now we can get back. I had to type that in my phone. I really apologize about that, guys. That sometimes gets a little, uh, gets a little difficult. Um, so there we go. I think, I think we're good to go. Okay. So I really want to apologize about that. I thought I had that in there before we, let me get my, there we go. All right. We're back. Um, 
So the green auto uh, pulled real life fire this weekend. Um, the best card I have is an Aaron Judge Fresno State card. Well, that's not a bad first uh, best card to have. Um, what set is that Fresno State card, EH? Um, the other, uh, so anyways, yeah. So all the break details are in our, I think you guys can see them on stream, but don't forget that this is, you know, if we pull a uh, bat down, oh, EH, I was just saying, so what set, uh, is the Aaron Judge Fresno State card? Is that from a specific set or is that, um, one of the, uh, a more, I'm not familiar with that card, but would love to be, um. So yeah, um, so don't forget that in this 2018 uh, Series 2, there's a good chance at a bat down Acuna, or well, when I say good chance, there's a chance at it. Um, it is actually a pretty difficult card to pull, but don't forget there's a bunch of other rookies in there. Um, and then we've also got the Topps Chrome 2000 update. So right now we've got a ways to go. We've got three spots sold in this already, so we've got to get some more spots sold before we break. Uh, but like I said, we'll be here for a while. Um, and then, uh, was also wondering, uh, I read an article where someone was saying that Mike Trout shouldn't have won. I forget who the writer was, but someone had said Mike Trout maybe didn't deserve the, uh, MVP this year because he didn't play for a winning team and he was injured. Um, would love to know your thoughts on that. Um, only because the, uh, as I look at the numbers, I mean, you look at war and you look at what Mike Trout did mean to his team. I claim that there's no way Alex Bregman was as valuable to the Astros as Mike Trout was to the Angels. Um, Panini contenders, huh? 2015. Um, well, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to look that card up. Um, dot eBay. And because a Panini contenders card... From 15, Aaron Judge. That's a sweet card. Aaron Judge. Panini Contenders. 2015. Just curious what a card like that would go for. Um, let's see. Is it the School Colors card? Um, EH. It must be that one. Um, there's a whole bunch of different 2015 Aaron Judges in here. Oh, here's the Fresno State one. Uh, is it the Collegiate Connection one? Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here. But, yeah, that's a sweet card. Um, the Astros, uh, yeah, the war, no kidding. Well, and that's my whole thing with the Mike Trout, um, Alex Bregman debate, which is I don't understand how with the team that has the pitching – that uh, with the team that has the pitching that the Astros have, and and you look at the Angels, who hey, we one of our starting pitchers literally died, um, and then on top of that, our pitching was just abysmal all season. Um, I mean, the Angels without Mike Trout are literally would have literally been. I mean, you're talking about a hundred win lost, a, a, a hundred lost team without a doubt. Um, Mike Trout is the only, if you remember, the Angels were actually in contention until late July. Then the dog days of August finally got them. Um, and the only reason they were is Mike Trout was single-handedly carrying that team. Even though we had no pitching, we had a first-year manager that we've already fired. Um, and then you look at Alex Bregman and you go, I mean, I get that his war is good. I get that he had a fantastic season. But not. let's also not forget that they, of course, we played for a winning team when you've got Verlander when you you know when you've got who the who else they get like Garrett Cole I mean uh, Zach Greinke um, and then who was the fourth pitcher Wade Miley who had a good season for him um, and then they've got a stacked lineup he's probably um, talent wise he's probably not even the best player in the in the Astros lineup although that I guess could be debated um, but you look at people like Altuve you look at people like the center fielder. Um, there's a story that came out, I forget if it was yesterday or today about, they literally had 
tape that vibrated to let them know when the pitch was coming. And if that's the case, who knows how good any of these guys are. Um, Casey Nation, yes, I am an Angels fan. Um, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Trout, without a doubt, is more valuable to the Angels than he, than Bregman is to the Astros. Um, so um, I, I just think that that debate, I, I don't even think it's something that's debatable. Um, I just think it's something that when you read, when you read these writers that try and um, create controversy that maybe isn't there. Um, and to be fair, I mean, the, the one argument you can make for Bregman is he played a lot more games. Trout was injured for, I think it was the last 18 games of the season. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, but really, when you talk about most valuable player, um, I think Trout deserved it. I, I'm glad he won it, obviously, as an Angels fan. Um, and and I don't even think it was as close as the voting should have been. Um, so anyways, uh, but that's me. What do I know? Um, while we're uh, waiting for spots to fill, here's what I'm going to do. Um, one, I'm going to show you guys maybe some more of what Chrome has to offer. Um, but before I do, here's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're talking, uh, the gallery of Chrome break, uh, got a few spots to fill. So, um, if you guys want spots, now's the time to get in. Uh, I'm doing three boxes of tops Chrome. So we're doing one, we're doing two, we're doing three. Um, so one and two and three, plus we're doing a box of the brand new tops gallery, uh, guaranteed to have two autographs in there. High likelihood that we'll have autographs in one of these, if not more of the Topps Chrome update boxes. Um, and then we are also throwing in as kind of a, as kind of just a bonus box, a chance at Ronald Acuna bat down plus a bunch of other 2018 rookie cards. We're going to throw in a blaster of 2018 Series 2. Um, so this, um, we'll be doing all of these tonight. Spots are going to be $10 a spot. Um, and then $4 flat shipping, no matter how many spots you get, unless you get four more spots, in which case I'm going to handle the shipping for you. Um, you can PayPal me, um, at, uh, let's see, PayPal, I'll type it back in here, it is going to be dphillips949 at gmail.com. Um, as soon as we have spot, all the spots filled, um, if I got to buy a couple spots at the end to get us rolling, I will do that. Um, but hopefully we can get them all filled. Um, so that is, that's the break tonight, guys. Like I said, it's 10 bucks flat. So a really, uh, a really nice, uh, really nice, um, kind of set of cards to get here. A lot of cards for a $10 break, um, and then as soon as we do this, we will randomize the spot. We will crack these guys open. Um, and then we'll see what fire we can pull. But in the meantime, let's do uh, a couple. I finally I finally found Topps Chrome value packs in my actual Target. I, I've been going to Target a lot to try and find these. And I just... Um, and to find these and they're almost impossible to find in retail. Um, so anyways, uh, I finally found some, so I bought some, um, I've only got two left. I've kind of been opening them. Um, it was really sad the one day I did buy them. I literally couldn't even wait till I got to my car. I was like opening a pack of these in the, um, in the, in the parking lot on the way to the car. But anyways, um, let me open one of these. And then we will see, kind of give you a preview of what's in Chrome. Now, the one thing about the value pack that you do not get in the uh, Chrome and the Mons and the uh, boxes is the pink refractor parallel cards. Um, my mom won't let you buy a spot. That's okay, EH. Um, oh, David, you do. Uh, did you put in for a couple spots? Um, Hold on, let me check. Um, give me one second here. Um, I thought I had PayPal open, but apparently I didn't. Let me log in here real quick just to make sure. 
Um, God, they make you hit so many buttons on PayPal. It's like four buttons to, just to get to an account overview, um, which I guess is kind of like Chase. Uh, so, yeah, hey, David, I did get those. So there we go. Thank you very much, David. That is two more spots. Um, David M. is now in. So, uh, like I said, we have plenty of spots to go. But as we go later on in the night, I've noticed that these spots kind of start filling up quickly. Um, so let's see. Um, EH. And the other thing I was thinking we might do, uh, and we'll do it in a little bit. Um, for anyone that gets in a spot, that buys a spot tonight, I think what I'm going to do, once we're kind of, we've got a few more people bought in, um, if this might incentivize some people that are watching to get in, um, I think I'm going to random off an additional spot to anyone that has already bought a spot. But we'll wait for a couple more people to get in. But hopefully, um, like if we end up with like one additional spot to go, we'll like randomize that one off to anyone that's bought in and you'll get a free spot spot in the break. Um, so these are the Topps Chrome. This is the uh, value pack. So this comes with three packs only, uh, but you do get an extra pack of, and I'm gonna be really good about my trash tonight. Um, you do get an extra pack of two pink um, refractor cards. So anyways, here's a Javi Baez. Um, hey, Cards for Days, how's it going? Um, I know they don't let me buy hobby boxes because they say it's a ripoff. Um, actually, EH, you should let your uh, you should let your parents know that hobby boxes generally have better odds than a retail box, unless it is a retail exclusive box, and then it doesn't matter. Um, like for example, Topps Chrome is a retail exclusive, but the odds say that you actually should buy a hobby box versus a retail box if both of those exist. You could show them the odds, show them that you've done good math and say, look, this is a sound investment. Um, oh, and look at that. Boom. <laughs> we got an auto and a value pack. That is a Jaylene Beaks. This is, this is a sign of things to come. Cards for days. If you are sending in for two spots, that is fantastic. Um, I'm going to mark you down for those. Um, let me get over to the spreadsheet. Um, and then remember, if you get uh, four spots, I, I'll cover the shipping for you. Um, so, and if you buy two spots and then decide, hey, maybe I want to get... Um, Two later, I will still honor that deal. Uh, but two spots is great. Um, that is so. Now we're about one third of the way there, guys. Um, so here is the Jaylene Beaks. Um, this is for Tampa Bay. Um, this one is the other neat thing is it is a refractor auto as well. So although it is not, um, so Patreon. Um, curious why don't you purchase hobby boxes um is there a is there a re is it is there a reason for that is it um is there just curious um i'm gonna cut this one uh by the way cause let me know that you can buy pre-cut sleeves i looked into that and then i couldn't find any but i'm gonna have to reach back out to cause and figure out where he's getting his pre-cut sleeves because the autos for the Topps Chrome seem to be a little bit heavy. Uh, you'll go up to 40, uh, send in the difference now. Oh, cards, that is fantastic. Um, so yeah, we are one third of the way there. Um, we actually have been streaming for a while, but I told people we wouldn't start till nine. I just kind of started a little bit early. Um, so cards for days, I've got you in there for four now. Um, give me a second. Um, I feel like I've been holding this Jaylene Beaks card on the uh, screen. So anyways, that is the Jaylene Beaks. This is actually going to get a top loader as well. Um, and I opened up brand new top loaders today. Um, so we will pop that one in there. So there he is. That is Mr. Jaylene Beaks. Um, I'm back. Put, uh, so Isaac's in for two spots. Isaac, that is fantastic. Um, and then I, Isaac and David, um, 
now that we're kind of past nine o'clock, I'm going to show people the Patreon. Um, we actually have some exciting news. I'm going to put this up here. Um, so then, uh, so this is just our first pack out of that uh, value pack. Um, so let's see, let me go over to PayPal, make sure this stuff is kind of coming in. Um, the Then we got the family business. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. So that's another nice insert card. Uh, let's see. Barry, uh, who is this one? Let me see. Two more spots, four total now. Um, oh, okay, I see what's going on there. Yep, okay. Perfect. So that's cards for days is in. Um, let's see. Let me go back and look at, hold on. I'm just trying to do PayPal and open packs and do all of this at the same time. So anyway, um, let's open this next pack. We can always get back to, we can always, always, always get back to PayPal and money and all that. But Let's break some cards here. Um, cards for days. Let me, uh, gosh, it takes forever for this. So, yeah, so Barry, I'm showing, let's see here, this is weird. Um, Clark Eddie David. So the weird part is I'm showing the second one and not the first one, but give it a second um, as sometimes these things just take a while to post. I'll keep refreshing it. In the meantime, here is a George Springer. That is the all-star. This is Craig Kimbrell. There's an Ozzy Smith. That's the greatest moments card. And a Cano. So two inserts on that one. Um, I'm going to have to look that Jalen Beaks up. Um, that is a cool... E.H. Um, so how long have you been collecting E.H.? Uh, e. Hey, hobbyist. How's it going? Um, the autos usually are not worth the total investment of the boxes. I usually purchase my autos off eBay. Patreon, that, uh, you've got a point there um, that sometimes when you open up a hobby box, um, you get kind of burned on some of the autos. Um, and I guess if you wanted to save money, if you were looking for just one or two of the autos, I get it. Um, that's not a bad strategy at all. Um, and everyone has their different strategies. There's a Kevin Biggio rookie debut. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt. Um, you know, it's funny when you just open a card and it's already got like little speckles and stuff on it. Uh, there's a Tony Gwen. Tony Gwen, one of the more popular people. Um, and then there's Mariano Rivera. Um, so this is the fact that we pulled a auto out of one of the, I want to know what the odds are. I'm going to look on one of these packs um, and see what the odds are. So here are the pink refractor parallels you get out of the, um, you get out of the value pack. So you get two of them. And our first one oh, is a Pete Alonzo. This is the all-star one. It is not the base auto, but a Pete Alonzo pink as well. Um, and then there's a Whit Merrifield. So this value pack was unbelievable. We pulled the Jaylene Beaks auto. The value packs go for, I think it's like 10 bucks. Um, this Pete Alonzo, although it is the all-star game version, um, the pink, um, it is not the base. The base on this, I think, is going for somewhere around 15 20 bucks. So, this one's probably going for anywhere between eight and ten. But between these two cards, plus all of the other uh inserts and whatnot that we get out of the box or I or out of the little value pack, that ended up being a nice little value pack overall. In fact, I'm even gonna top load the Pete Alonzo. Um, so EH is offering, if anyone wants to send him bad cards, he will take them. Um, what, um, so EH, the reason you need a pre-cut, I, I don't need a pre-cut sleeve, but the, sometimes when the cards are thicker, um, it's kind of hard to get into the penny sleeve. So if you cut the little corner right around here, 
It makes it a lot easier and there's less of a chance of dinging your card up. Um, so it kind of it, so it kind of helps put in a thicker card, such as like you can probably I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this on screen, but the autos are a little bit thicker than the normal cards, um, and so they don't fit into the penny sleeves quite as well. Um, so that's why you would cut a little hole into them or a little cut into the corner of the penny sleeve. Um, let's see here. Let me get caught up on chat. Um, yeah, cards for days. It does look like only one went through, so let me see. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm ready to pull some fire for the rest of you guys. We're about a third of the way there, so we've got time. Um, let's see here. Barry, you are good to go now. Uh, cards for days. Um, so, let's see. Let me get back into that. Let me get caught up on chat. If anyone wants to give me a bad card, Jeff, um, about five, I agree, Pirate. Uh, that's why I keep going in there. Um, one cent. Would, would I be interested in trading the Arise Auto from Gallery for a Taylor Ward? Um, although I do like the Taylor Ward Gallery, uh, the Taylor Ward Gallery Auto, um, that Arise, I mean, I know what that card and kind of what Arise's season was. Um, and, and to be honest, um, I do have an eBay store where I normally sell most of my autos unless it's one that I really, really want, unless it's someone that I collect. What I would be willing to do is uh, probably just make a straight up offer for the uh, Taylor card, uh, but I would probably prefer to either A, sell the Arise um, or there's another thing, um, you know, either sell it, I, but that one I'm probably going to hold on to until next season because I would rather wait until his name kind of gets into the majors a little bit more. Um, KC Nation, so um, here's one thing I, uh, I, I am going to say. So, because right now, let me check. Um, right now in our break, oh, that's not the let's close that down um, no we don't need to save that um, I still had work stuff up so right now we've got one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I've got 11 spots sold in this break so we're one-third of the way there um, here's what I'm gonna do um, let's go over the break one more time because we've got a few people in here um, here's what the break is right now uh, we've got the Tops Gallery Monster Box, uh, Monster Box, guaranteed to get two autos in there. We've got three Tops Chrome Boxes. Um, high likelihood we'll pull at least one auto. I mean, we just pulled one out of a value pack. Um, so we pulled the Jaylene Beaks out of the value pack. Um, so we're doing that. And I am also throwing in a chance at Acuna Bat Down plus all the other rookies that are in the 2018 Series 2. Um, so that's like Otani, that is uh, Acuna, that's uh, Glaber Torres. There's also a Glaber short print in here that's actually worth a lot of money as well. Uh, not guaranteed to be in there, but that's in this set. So um, spots are $10, bucks, uh, $4 flat rate shipping, um, no matter how many spots you buy. If you buy four spots or more, though, I will cover the shipping for you. And then... Here's what I'm going to say. Um, for anyone, uh, hey, Cam Vet, thanks for joining. Um, for anyone that uh, buys into a spot, because um, I've got kind of an odd number of spots so far, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Um, once we get to 20 spots sold, anyone that has bought into the break, um, I'm going to do a randomizer. We'll do it on the wheel. Um, and we will uh, do a wheel elimination for anyone that's bought into the break. I will auction off, or not auction off, but we'll spin the wheel and we'll give away one free break spot. Um, but you got to buy into the break first. So um, if you get into the break, if you do that, uh, yeah, so there. this is the set that would have, Alex, this is a set that would have bat down. Not guaranteed that there's one in here, but this is the set that has the bat down Acuna. It's the 2018 Series 2 Baseball. Um, this is the 
that has bat down. It's also got the Glaber short print. Um, it's also, I mean, there's a, it's got all the 2018 rookies in there. So, um, that's who you would be looking for um, in this set is that that Acuna is the big card in this set, but the Glaber is no slouch. Um, obviously, there's um, other autos that are in there. So, um, yeah, so the Braves would be hot in this. Um, the Angels would be hot in this. In the top Chrome Gallery, um, you've got plenty of... I mean, there's a bunch that kind of goes all around. Um, obviously, the Blue Jays will be hot. Last week, we did uh, a few boxes of Topps Chrome, and we did pull um, a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Auto, which was gold to 50. I think we pulled that for Stemmer's hits. Um, we haven't seen Stemmer's hits in here tonight, but um, so Stemmer's hits pulled a bunch of, I, I mean, he got a ton of stuff. He got really lucky last week. He had the Mets, he had the Padres, and he had the Blue Jays. Um, all I, I, I forget how many spots he bought, but he, on the randomizer, got all of those teams. So he had a, he had a night. Um, if you go back and look on his channel, he's actually already received the Vladimir. He's already showed it off. Um, I was a little disappointed he didn't give me a shout-out for pulling it to him, but we'll forgive Stemmers for that later <laughs> so, so anyways um but yes guys um so if you buy into a spot here in the next few um i'm gonna randomize if you buy in i'm gonna randomize and you may get an additional spot so we'll spin the wheel see if we can't get someone else to get an additional spot so i will buy someone a random spot in this break and we're throwing in the 2018 series two so um yeah, cards for days. I, I I was actually surprised he didn't call it out, but it, I'm actually totally fine with it. I I liked pulling it for him. Um, he he bought a few spots in the break, so it is more than fine that he did not call it out. Um, I know he was really excited about getting that card, though. I remember last week in the live chat, he said um, he said um, he would he would. Uh, he was dancing around his house. I think he said he was shirtless. <laughs> so uh, he was dancing around his house after we pulled that card for him. He had a great night breaking with us, which was fantastic for him. So, um, and I, and I know he breaks with his son. If you follow his stuff, um, I think he's going to be breaking with his son on Friday. So I think he was real excited to show that card to his son. That's fantastic. That's what the hobby's all about. Um, so, but anyway, um, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of where we're at. Um, let's see. Uh, let me get caught up on chat here. Um, yeah, Casey, um, n no big deal. Um, so, Polly, if you'd like a few spots, that's fantastic. Just let me know how many I'll get you put in. Here's what we're doing, Polly. By the way, thanks for joining. Um, right now, I think we got 11 spots sold. So you, you can buy as many spots as I think you, you would like. Um, but here's what we're doing. It's three boxes of Topps Chrome Update. It's a Topps Gallery uh, Monster Box. And I'm throwing in a 2000, uh, 2018 Series 2 Topps Blaster. It's an additional 101 cards. Uh, outside chance at a Acuna or a Glaber short print. That's the bat down, obviously. Um, and then uh, if you buy a spot here pretty soon, like within the first 20 to 24 spots, um, I'm going to randomize a free spot because I've got kind of an odd number right now. So I think I'm going to have to end up buying one spot regardless. Um, so I'll randomize a spot, maybe get an additional spot. Um, the spots are 10 bucks each, $4 shipping. If you buy four spots, I'll handle the shipping for you. So it'd be 40 bucks flat if you buy four spots or more. Um, and then, uh, but if you buy less than that, just add four bucks shipping. But the spots are ten bucks a piece. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, the so that's kind of the break here. Let me do this so we can kind of make it look a little bit more. I've kind of got it all weird right now. Um, so yeah, so there's the three boxes of the Chrome. So really, five boxes, uh, ten dollars, random spot. You'll buy ten poly with ten spots. Um, Polly, you are the man. Um, let me do this. Here's the PayPal. Uh, we're going to get this thing broke tonight. I love it. Gmail.com. Um, and then, uh, 
And then what we'll do is I'll start setting up the wheel. By the way, Polly, um, I opened up one value pack of Topps Chrome. Um, I just opened up one of these about kind of right before you joined. Um, I think I am getting lucky because you know how you get three packs plus the pink pack. I pulled an auto out of one already. Oh, Kanan, what's going on? Um, thank you for joining. Um, so I did pull the I did pull the Jaylene Beaks auto out of the value pack, and then we also pulled a pink refractor parallel of the Pete Alonzo uh, All Star Game rookie. So I may be uh, I may have a little luck streak in me tonight. I don't know. That was out of two. That was out of one of these. Um, so in fact, I was going to look at the odds. I don't know if the odds are on this thing. Um, oh, they are. Let's see. So let's see. Da, 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 da. I want to know what the odds of pulling an auto out of one of these uh, value packs is. Does it mention it in here? No, there is no way that that is true. Um, autograph red. Um, autograph. Okay, an autograph. So yeah, it is one in forty packs. So you would have to buy. Let's see if there's one, two, three. I don't think it actually counts the pink one. So, yeah, you'd have to buy, boy, about 15 of these. So, anyways, um, I'm going to put you down for the 10 spots. Here we go. Um, so, we're just going to go Polly. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, we got tw we we only got nine spots left in the break uh, before we go ahead and break. Um, so that is give two spots to Dell. Uh, hold on, hold on. Who is who is Dell? Are we talking about El Canon? Um, who's Dell? Zombie boss. Yes, I am. A, I am on Bitg quite a bit. Um, I like buying into his breaks. Um, let me make sure I've got, let me get caught up on some of the chat here. Hey, Elkanon, I saw you were out at the dog park today. I, I dropped into your stream for a little bit. Um, it made me miss going to Colorado. I was in, uh, I was in Colorado last summer and I had gone there for the last few years living in Ohio and growing up in California. I, I really miss the mountains. And I saw where I saw your dog park and I said, I was thinking to myself, Elkanon's dog park is more beautiful than any spot in Ohio, except for maybe Port Clinton, which is in Northern Ohio on the Great Lakes. I mean, that is about the only spot in Ohio that would compare to where your dog, what your dog park looked like. <laughs> so, so needless to say, I was a little bit jealous. Um, so who am I? Um, let's see. Let, let me get caught up. Uh, so it's $10. So Elkanon, Here's what it is. We're breaking these five boxes, three Chrome Update, Topps Gallery, a 2018 Series 2. This is just hanging out here because I was going to open it, but chat has kind of gotten a little hot. Um, so it's 10 bucks per spot, $4 for shipping, um, flat shipping um, for however many spots. But if you buy four spots, um, I'll cover the shipping for you. So it would be, so be $40 flat. Um, so let me get cut up. So, Polly, who am I giving... Um, don't overdo it, Elkanon. Uh, right, one spot. Okay, so one spot to KC. So let me do that. KC, um, pay it forward to Polly. So that is going to be KC Nation. And then Hess. Let me see here. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, Elkanon, I, I mean, I love Colorado. If I ever move away from Ohio, I doubt I'd go back to California. If I did go back to California, I'd probably go San Diego way. Um, but if I but if I moved, I, I'm going to Colorado. Um, I would probably mo move to Golden. Um, I'd move to Golden because I'd be close to beer, and I'd be close to Denver, and I'd be close to the, really close, if you'd be in the Rockies, but still not so high up in the Rockies that you'd die in the winter. <laughs> but but um, Colorado Hess is getting two spots, so let, me, um, so let me see, let me just make sure I got this right. Um, so 
So that's going to be two spots. Um, I'm just updating the uh, updating the spreadsheet here, and then as soon as we got that, um, yeah. Now, uh, EH, you're in California. Uh, l let me know whereabouts. I grew up in Southern California. I was an Orange County kid. I grew up behind the Orange Curtain. Um, a lot of people call it the last Republican out of, uh, outpost of California, uh, which is true. There's a lot of Republicans that actually um, live in Orange County, but I try not to get too involved in politics. And I, as a kid, I wasn't smart enough for politics. Um, now that I live in Ohio, I now get the importance of politics. Um, when you grow up in California, none of that stuff matters. So, uh, so you're up in Fresno. That Fresno's, uh, I like Fresno. Um, that's very cool. Um, my profile pic is a bulldog. Um, so let's see. Uh, Colorado Card Crew is getting in on this. Uh, so I've got two for Colorado Card Crew. Um, here's what I'm going to need um, from Colorado Card Crew and from UKC. Um, I'm going to put my email in here. Email me your guys' address because I don't know that I have them. Um, just email me. Just put Colorado Card Crew address or uh, KC Nation address. So that way I can mail you out this stuff. Um, so let's see. Um, Polly is paid. Uh, let me go over to PayPal. I tell you what, man, every time I go to PayPal, I got to log back in and hit four different buttons just to get to my, I got to figure out a way to stay logged in longer on PayPal. <laughs> um, social distortion country. Yep. That's exactly right. Um, social distortion has that live album. I think it's live from the Roxy, which would have been up in LA. Uh, I think it came out about 15, 16, 17 years ago. Um, and he actually talks about, there's one part in that CD where he talks about uh, getting crazy color for your hair. And um, although I can't say it on this stream, if you've heard that album, he talks about piercings in places. And you used to go to the mall and do that. And how he, um, and how he kind of grew up a punk rock in Orange County and being the kind of the little stepbrother to L.A. County. Um, it was a fantastic, fantastic um, uh, little, if, if you go listen to the live of the Roxy album, you'll hear it. I forget what song he leads into there, but I think it was, uh, the song I was wrong. Um, love social distortion. Um, Isaac, I am feeling, okay. So Isaac, you're in our uh, Elkanon, you're in on two spots. Thank you very much, guys. Um, El Kanan is in for two. And so we're getting pretty close here, guys. I think we got one, two, three, four. We got seven spots left. Um, let me make, let me just go back to the PayPal because I think a lot of people have been coming in on this in the last few seconds. So let me just go check this real fast. Um, okay, Kanan, I got you. Um, let me see, Polly, uh, I'm not seeing yours yet. But give it a minute before you go in it, uh, before you do it again. Um, so let's see here. Elkanon, if you could do friends or family, that's fine. Just be sure to include your address um, in there. So that way I know I got it just in the notes or you can email it to me. Either way, I'm going to get your email address. I'll, I'm either going to bug you or you can put it in there. Your choice. Uh, <laughs> um, and then let's see. Uh, so yeah, Polly, um, yeah, I'm hoping we pulled the, um, I'm really hoping we pulled the, I forgot to put it in, so, um, yeah, go ahead and email it to me, Kanan, that's fine, um, no, you're good, I always, I, I forget half the time too, so, you're good, um, so let me check, if I've got this straight, Polly, uh, Polly has got, 10 total spots, but two are going to uh, Colorado Card Crew. One is going to KC Nation for a total of 10 spots. So that is 10 spots that Polly has bought in for, and he's given some out to the others, Colorado and KC. Uh, El Kanan is in for two. I got Isaac in for two. I got Cards for Days in for four. David M. 
is in for two. Eddie's Baseball Autos is in for two. And I got Clark in for one at the very beginning. He was the first one in. Um, so he's got one spot himself. So that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots left. Uh, really only six spots because I am going to... Um, so I am going to uh, random off one of these spots. And what we'll do is we'll try and put everyone's name in there. Um, so like Paul, you know, Paul is probably going to win the thing. He bought enough spots, <laughs> but, but you never know. We'll, 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 we'll random it off. It we'll do a random off anyways, um, for that final seventh spot. So, uh, we got six spots to go. Um, the nationals, um, and yeah, so on this, um, there is one other thing that I haven't brought up tonight. Um, we, uh, yeah, Clark, you were early, but but like I said, um, I mean, we only got six spots to fill. This thing will fill up tonight, um, and uh, we'll get this thing um, we'll get this thing filled. We'll get it broke tonight. Um, so, EH, um, I would love to give you the break cards from this break, but I ship all the cards in this break out to the people who bought in. Um, for for anyone that doesn't know, um, for, for for anyone that doesn't know, uh, EH. EH has been in the stream here for a little bit. Um, he asked his parents to buy a spot and his parents won't let him buy into one. Um, so, so what I will probably do, yeah, no problem, Isaac. We'll see when you get back. What I will probably do, um, if I auction off this, if we randomize off one of the, uh, the final spot in this break, um, what I will do, I'm going to put EH in there just because... Just because I'm gonna let him be a rebel for his family, I'm gonna give him a shot at at, at the last break spot of this. Um, I hope you guys don't mind, but you can you can think back to when you were a kid and you wanted to buy cards and you just didn't have the funds to do it. I I I literally used to steal the money out of my dad's big old five gallon um, jar that he put all his change in just to go buy cards. So I get the feeling. I feel I feel for you, Eh. Um, Hey, Colorado a Card Crew, uh, thank you. So we will give you at least a chance at getting one. Uh, I will put your name into the randomizer. Um, so you'll have like a one in some odd shot of getting one. Um, Eddie, I can do that for you. Um, and then, so there you go, EH. Now you'll have three spots on the randomizer because if Eddie gets it, um, Hey Robert, what's going on? Because if Eddie gets it, um, then you'll then um, you'll win it for him. Um, oh wait, Eh is leaving. Well, Eh, if you're leaving, um, thanks for a chance at a spot. Okay, well, Eh, um, before you leave, I'm still gonna give you that chance at a spot, but but I, I would need your address. So you got to email me your address if you want me to ship the stuff to you. Um, so anyways, hey guys, um, so we can get these last six spots filled. Here's the break tonight. We've got um, Topps Chrome. We've got three boxes of it. I'm sure you guys have seen enough of this open. Probably a good chance that we're going to pull at least one, one auto. It's not guaranteed though, so I can't guarantee it. But, it's, but if you guys have been watching the Topps Chrome being broke, um, the autos kind of show up. Um, we also are doing the brand new Topps Gallery set. It's got two autographs in the box. Um, plus, the cards are just really sweet. I showed off some of them earlier. Um, there's parallels. There's autos. Um, so we're doing a box of those. And I am throwing in a 2018 Top Series 2 uh, blaster box. This is a chance at an Acuna bat down. Acuna bat down. Uh, there's the Glaber short print. There's like Shohei. I mean, there's all sorts of different... Um, there's all sorts of different cards in Series 2 that people are after right now. It's kind of a hot series um, set. So um, the spots in this... Is gonna be uh, ten bucks a spot, four dollars shipping. Uh, no matter how many spots you get, if you buy four spots or more, um, if you buy four spots or more, uh, shipping will be free. So it's forty bucks flat. Um, and then I'm gonna say, and we only gotta sell one, two, three. We only gotta sell six more spots in this. So hopefully we can get through this. Um, we can get through this here pretty quick. 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start setting up the randomizer. Instead of the wheel, I'm going to do this on randomizer. It'll take too long to set up the wheel. I already have random up. So I'll put everyone's names in here, and we will random off um, the final spot in this. So that's the other thing. If you buy into this, um, there's six more spots available. Um, I'm going to auction off the very last, or randomize the last spot. So you may get a free spot in this break. Um, so that is, so, and the email to put all this stuff in is going to be, uh, dphillips949 at gmail.com. That is the PayPal. Um, so as soon as I have these last few spots filled up, we will go ahead and get to breaking, um, and then uh, in the meantime, here's what we will do. I'm going to open this second pack, see if I can keep kind of the hot streak alive. Um, I've pulled a lot of autos out of Topps Chrome. So um, while we wait for these last spots to fill up, we're going to go ahead and pop this last value pack. Uh, so what? Uh, by the way, so yeah, the odds were 1 in 40 um, packs. So that would be... That's about one in every 14 or 15 um, value packs. So that's Yasmani Grandal. This is Keaston Harura. Um, no, I thought that may have been a refractor, but it's not. Javier Baez and Mr. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Um, the Keston. So here we go. This is going to be Mookie Betts and George Springer and Verlander. Just recently won the Cy Young and Canseco. Golden Rule, what's going on? How are you? Um, thanks for joining. We are six spots away from... We're six spots away from breaking all of the card, all of the boxes you see behind us. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, it's going to be 10 bucks a spot. We're throwing in an extra uh, chance at a Ronald Acuna and a Glaber short print. Um, there's the Jorge Polanco. This is another Verlander, uh, Robbie Cano, and Sandy Koufax. So this that pack, that value pack was not quite as nice as the first one where we pulled the auto, but let's see what the pink refractors get us. Um, so wait, whose birthday is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whose birthday is it? Early happy birthday. Uh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so there's an Alex Bregman, and let's see, our second one is going to be, oh, look at that. It's a Ronald Acuna Jr. Tops All-Star Rookie Cup card. Um, and this is the pink parallel. Um, yeah, we only got six spots left. Um, if you buy four spots, and the other thing is, we're um, there's technically there's seven spots, but I'm randoming off the the final spot um, as a free spot to anyone that buys into the break. Um, so that is the Ronald Acuna. So yeah, um, anyone that buys into the break, I'm going to random off the final spot. Um, so you, it's possible that you get a free spot spot in the break. Um, if you buy four spots, I'll cover the shipping. It'll just be 40 bucks flat. Um, and then anything less than that, it's 10 bucks a spot. Just be sure to add $4 flat rate shipping for um, however many spots you buy. Um, on Friday the 22nd, um, well, happy birthday. Um, the 20, I, I actually am planning a buddy of mine's uh, 40th birthday party. Why I am planning it is beyond me. <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't even plan my kids birthdays, but his family is, uh, his family, his mom recently had surgery. His sister's car literally blew up. Um, his family has been having a little bit of a hard luck streak to say the least. Um, and so he's turning 40. He is not married. Um, and he called me the other day and he was like, Hey, um, so 
what do you want to do for my birthday? And I was like, well, isn't your family planning something? And apparently they're not. So I, I'm taking pity on him. And now I have no idea what to do because I need to find a place where you get like 30 people. And it just so happens his birthday is on the same day as the Ohio State Michigan game, which is also on Thanksgiving weekend. Um, so the chances of me finding a place that will take 20 to 25 people are going to be so slim and none. Um yeah, so six bots left. Um, yeah, the that Buckeye Michigan game. Um, it's funny because at the beginning of the season, everyone was worried about Michigan and they were ranked really high. And then Michigan came out and was Michigan. Um, and then everyone was like, ah, everyone in Ohio was like, ah, Michigan sucks and um, all that stuff. And now it seems like the Buckeye fans have gotten a. Uh, They've gotten, you know, it, it seems like their butts are getting a little tight about that game again. Um, cause that is probably the one game between now and the end of the season that could derail a playoff run. And Michigan's the one team that would love to do it. So that game will be interesting to watch. Uh, they always have that game. They're going to have that game on Saturday, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I think it's at home though. So the chances of the Buckeyes losing at home with how good they are. I would highly doubt that they would lose to Michigan, but stranger things have happened. Um, and they still got to get that past Penn State, but Penn State has looked um, really beatable the last two weeks. Um, and then again, the Buckeyes have basically played two scrimmages the last two weeks against Rutgers and Maryland. So, you know, how, how good are they actually? You won't know because they haven't been tested. Uh, they really haven't been tested at all this season, um, except for maybe that Wisconsin game. And they did blow the doors off Wisconsin. Um, so we'll see. Um, so anyways, you guys, six spots left. Uh, we've got, dun, 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 dun. let's see if we've got any more on the PayPal because sometimes people go, um, stay logged in. Yeah, see how that works? It's like so weird. Um, all right. So I'm seeing. Hey, Polly, there is. Um, I'm still not seeing your payment in here. Uh, let me just check more activity just to be sure I'm not crazy. Um,. There's where I play, paid the cleaning guy. Um, that's always a fun thing to pay. Yeah, um, Polly, I am not actually seeing your payment in here. Um, let's make sure we got that to the D Phillips 949 at Gmail. Um, but anyway, so if you want to just check on that, make sure it went through. Um, and then, yeah, so I got two spots. Uh, yeah, shipping is free. So yeah, all you'd have to do, Kanan, is uh yeah, it'd be sixteen bucks. That's totally not a problem. Um so that and then we would only have four spots to go. Um and then we are breaking all of this. So we'll get it broke tonight. It's only it's not even ten o'clock on the East Coast. Um normally as soon as the West Coast wakes up and people start logging on after work, um this stuff kind of goes in. So another big thing I wanted to talk to you guys about um, is I actually just launched my Patreon page today. I was actually really excited about it. Um, awesome. Kanan, that is sweet. I'm going to put you in for, I'll mark you down for two more. Um, and that'll give you two more spots in the random um, for the free spot. So you may end up with five. Um, so yeah, um, We've got four left, guys. So if you are someone that maybe bought two spots, um, Golden Rule is in for one. Um, sweet. And we will... Let me get that in there. So now we've only got three spots left. Um, dun, 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 where the hell am I stretching? Um, golden Rule is in. And let's see. So yeah, we've got we've got three more spots, guys. Um, so yeah, I just uh, launched my Patreon page today. If you go over to Patreon and just search One Cent Sports Cards, it shows up. Uh, we've actually already got two pat uh, patrons in there. The inaugural patron was 
the one and only Mr. Isaac Flores. As you guys know, Isaac, he um, supports all of our channels. He is very active. Uh, Isaac pays it forward. I think Isaac even gave a one of one away to Mr. Urban. Um, four, but there are no more. Um, hey, Jaffa. Um, how long? Um, hit you with three. Okay, Jaffa, you are awesome. Um, and Jaffa, don't forget that by buying three, you'll have three spots in the randomization, um, or, or in the randomization. So there's a chance that you get a free fourth one. Um, really want to thank you for selling this thing out. Um, so yeah, if you guys have not checked out, uh, the Patreon, David actually signed up for the $25 level. If, if you guys haven't checked out my Patreon page, I posted a video about it. I've only got four tiers in there, uh, but I think the tiers are actually really worth it. Um, I tried to provide a lot of value. Um, I'm not trying to make a, you know, a ton of money on the Patreon. Um, there are things as like free, um, cr break credits. Um, there's four, you know, there's like packs of baseball cards, but they're going to be like, I'm guaranteeing everything is 2018 or newer. Um, there's going to be, you know, your favorite team. Let me know what cards you want. Um, that type of stuff. So go ahead and check that out. If you just go to Patreon, it's one cent sports cards, or if you just go check out the video I posted, I think it posted earlier today. Um, it will give you all the information breaks down the four tiers. I'm really excited about it. Um, so definitely, definitely check that out. But we are on to the gallery of Chrome break. Um, <laughs> put your own silver agave. Um, I'm more of a Casadores type myself, Polly. Um, for some reason, I've always liked Casadores um, tequila more than any other tequila. Um, in fact, I'll bet you I, um, you guys don't know how close you are to my tequila stash. If I just kind of steered off a little bit to the right here, it is within uh, reaching district. But as you can see, um, I've had a I've had a few uh, tequilas over the time. Um, another good tequila that I have is the, uh, and this one, I, I actually don't drink this one too much, but um, this the Casamigos stuff is really good too. So, but anyways, we're on to the break. Um, maybe at the end of this break, I will take a shot of tequila. Well, I almost dropped that whole thing. Um, so anyways, um, okay, so here we go. Let me do this. Um, we're going to pull some of this out of the way so I can get the computer um, up. But uh, let's put a chrome over here next to... We're going to stack some stuff up. One of these days I'm going to have a huge area to do all this. But in the meantime, we will pop all this stuff kind of off to the side while we pull the computer up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to randomize... We're going to random off this final spot. Um... Give me one second while I pull everyone in, and we'll see who gets the free break spot tonight. Oh, I gotta unplug my computer. One second. I've got everything plugged in. It's crazy. Um, here's what we'll do. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna turn down, so that way I think you guys can see it better. We're gonna push the camera in. We're gonna do all sorts of different things here. Um, okay, so we're on random. As you guys can see, I've been dropping all your names in here. Um, I am going to put one spot for EH in, and we will drop all your names in here. This will not be the random for your spots, obviously, um, but this will be the random for the free spot. Um, okay, um, that's the George Clooney bat. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to roll the dice. I, I tend to always roll sixes. I don't know why, but that's good for everyone. Um, so here's what we're doing. We're going to drop everyone in. I am going to put EH, our, well, uh, who I'm going to call the young son of the stream. Um, kind of reminded me of when I was a kid hanging out with hanging out with people that were older. And yeah, that dice, well, this dice is not loaded. It's a Pokemon dice. <laughs> um which may be loaded. We don't know. Um, Elkanon would be the one to tell you if a Pokemon dice is loaded or not. Um, so, but anyway, so we are, we are going to randomize six, time here, uh, six times here, guys. Uh, one, 
And so whoever is on top after six is going to get the free sp spot in the break. Um, so that's one. That is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. And this is six. It's going to go to Colorado Card Crew, um, which actually is Polly. Uh, Polly, let me know because uh, that technically is your spot. Um, <laughs> so just let me know if you who you want if you want to actually give that to Colorado Card Crew, or if you want to um, give that to yourself. Either way, I am fine with it. Um, so let's see. That is going to be the random spot that goes right down here. So just let me know who you want to have that. Uh, all right. It is going to Colorado. Colorado. Uh, yes. Okay. So we have all of our spots. I think we're good to go there. So here's what we're do. We're going to randomize teams first. And then we will randomize the... Let's see how many. So we're going to drop these into the randomizer. Um, let's get a new list going here. So this will be the... Let's make sure we're not... Uh, there we go. There's all of our... There's all of our teams. 1 to 30. So let's roll the quick dice. There's a 3. Sweet. Okay, so we'll randomize this guy three times. Um... So that's going to be one. This is two. And that is three. And then we're going to go control A. No, not, no we're not going to go control A. That was nuts. Um, we're going to go control C. So I've got the Astros on top, the Indians on the bottom. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back into our spreadsheet. Um, I'm actually going to drop these right here. And then I'm going to go like this. We'll hide everything to the left here in a second um, once we've got this all random randomized out. So no one's got any confusion. Here is everyone that is bought into the break. Um, we were, we'll go over here. We'll start a new list. That's not the way to start a new list. Um, this is... We're going to roll the dice again. Um, let's see. This time we're going to randomize twice. And so we will randomize two times on this. So here's everyone's names from Clark to Colorado. So randomize once and randomize again. And that will be twice. And I've got Isaac on top. I've got El Kanan on the bottom and everyone else in the middle. Um, and once we drop this in here, you will know who you have. So let me do a quick hide on these columns. And this will be breakers over here. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to make these columns look nice and even. And we are going to do some of that. We're going to make this thing look fancy and i think we've got let's just put blue and that should actually be if you guys don't know i think i mentioned this in every break but i work in excel quite a bit so for some reason i got to make all my excel stuff okay so here's who we got um i've got i don't know how well you guys can see this i'm going to try and get it as close as i can so you guys can all read that um Astros are going to Isaac. The Blue Jays are going to Polly. Congratulations. The Padres are going to Isaac. The Mets are going to Jaffa. The A's are going to Polly. The Brewers going to Cards for Days. The White Sox are going to Eddie's Baseball Autos. The Angels are going to Colorado Card Crew. Jaffa's got the Rockies. Canone's got the Mariners. Uh, the Pirates are going to David M. The Cardinals are going to Eddie. Yankees going to Clark. Um, 
Clark Z, that is. Uh, Washington Nationals going to KC Nation. Uh, Minnesota Twins are going to Canaan. The Cubs are going to Pauly. Cards for Days is going to uh, gets the Marlins. pauly has got the Royals. Uh, the Orioles are going to Cards for Days. Uh, the Tigers going to El Canon. Uh, the Reds, Cards for Days. Uh, Diamondbacks, David M. Braves, Pauly. So congratulations. We may, hopefully we pull you a bat down. We'll see. Uh, Rangers and Dodgers going to Colorado Card Crew. Giants going to Golden Rule. Phillies, Pauly. Red Sox to Jaffa. Ray, Tampa Bay Rays are going to Pauly. And to round it out, you've got the Indians going to Canaan. Okay, so trades are open, guys. Um, I'm going to keep it on here. I've got the stream kind of rolling. Uh, I, so let me know. Um, okay, let's see. Here we go. We'll keep trades open. I'm going to try and keep it short, but we'll, yeah, yeah, you know, we'll go as long as you guys kind of want to work all this stuff out. Uh, so Red Sox are on the table. Um, Dodgers, Angels, Rangers. So... Let's see. Orioles and Marlins are on the table. Cards for days. Clark Z with the Yankees. I think that's not for buying a single spot into a break. That's not a bad team to get. Uh, Joff is saying, hit me. Uh, Cardinals are open. So the Cardinals are available. Uh, Joff is saying, Colorado. Um, if you guys agree on a deal, just write like something like in all caps, just say trade and who the two teams are. Um, and I'll get them traded out for you. Um, let's see right now on my watch, I'm show well on the computer, we're showing 10 Oh six. And then Polly, um, I don't know if you checked out what was going on on PayPal. Um, I haven't checked it, but if you could check that out, um, that would be awesome. Cause I hadn't, I didn't have it a couple minutes ago before we did all the randomization. So if you haven't checked to see if that went through, if you could, that'd be awesome. The email address, D Phillips, Phillips is with two L's nine, four, nine at Gmail. So make sure you send it to D Phillips, nine, four, nine at Gmail. Um, and then let's see. Every spot of mine is available. El Canon is making everything there. So there's a lot on the table, but I haven't seen anything. Um, El Canon will take, the Rockies for any of his teams. Elkanon does have the Indians. He's got the Twins. The Twins are actually, that's uh, Luis Arise is uh, on the Twins. So that's not a bad spot to have. Uh, he's also got the Mariners. There's a lot of Ken Griffey Juniors in this gallery. So uh, Elkanon's actually got a couple good teams here. So definitely, um, yeah, and he's got the Tigers. Um, what was the Tiger hit that I pulled just the other day that was awesome? I pulled a tiger hit. Uh, oh, we no, you know what it was? We pulled, uh, we pulled the tiger auto out of last week's break. That's what I was thinking of. Um, Mariners, the Twins. I have Orioles. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. I think El Canon is looking for the Rockies. He is, Jaffa. Are you willing to trade the Rockies to El Canon? And if so, uh, he's made any of his teams available. He's got the Indians, Mariners, Twins, Tigers. Eddie is saying uh, Cardinals for Indians, and that would be yeah. Cards for days. Um, a little bit of the short stick. The Reds are actually not a bad um, one to have, uh, but don't worry. Cards for days. Normally, um, if you get bad luck on a break, I try and make it up to you somehow. Um, so don't worry about it too much. Um, okay, so do we have a trade here? Um, okay, on. Yes, uh, I'll do it. Okay, so just put what the trade is. Trade, Indians for Cardinals. Okay, um, here we go. Let's do this. Let me find the Indians on here. And, okay, and I'm not looking at the stream right this second because for whatever reason, I can't read typing. Oh, yeah, the Indians are at the very bottom. Okay, so El Canon. Okay, so this was uh, 
Indians for Cardinals. Okay, Control C. And where are the Cardinals? Eddie's Baseball Autos. So this is now going to. Ah, come on. Elkanon's getting those. And Eddie, Control C, is getting the Indians down here. So we will switch all that out. Okay, so there's that trade. Okay, confirmed. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Angels for Rockies. That's confirmed. Oh, man, the Angels for Rockies. Oh, man. I'd take that trade all day long, Elkanon. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see here. Um, where are the Angels? So Colorado had the Angels. Um, control C. Wait, 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 Jaffa. Why am I trading a Colorado? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone confirmed that the Angels for Rockies is actually happening. Because I thought the Rockies were going over to El Canon. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, angels for Rockies. Where are the Rockies on here? Oh, they're right here. Okay. So you guys are just flip-flopping. Okay. That works for me. Colorado Hex. And Control-C. I'm trying to work around my... And this is going to, so the Angels are going to Jaffa. So Jaffa now has the Angels. The Rockies are now Colorado Card Crew. Um, just some payment. Thank you, Polly, very much. I'll, I'll check on that. I mean, I know you're good for it. I'm not totally worried about it that much, but just wanted to make sure. Um, okay, so now, okay, now, confirm train. Mariners for Orioles. Okay, um, so let me find that. Mariners, Mariners, Mariners. Okay, that's El Canan. Um, and the Orioles, which are going to be down here. So cards for days. It gets out of the Orioles spot. El Canan is moving into it. And for that, cards for days now goes to the Mariners. So I got uh, cards for, uh, the Mariners going to cards for days, the Orioles going to El Canan. Um, okay, uh, any other trades? Are we trading, um, are we trading, uh, that's Angels and Red Sox. Wait, ja, yeah. Um, that's Angels, Red Sox. That's pretty solid. Um, Oh, I guarantee there's going to be a Cedric Mullins somewhere in here. You can't get away from Cedric Mullins. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, so, are we... I think the only thing left on the table was those Rockies. Um, which now belong to... Didn't we already trade the Rockies once? Yeah, so that belongs to Colorado Card Crew. Well, but he's not giving them up. So, um, I want the Nationals from KC... Um, the Nationals, well, you, I mean, you bought the, you bought that one, Polly. If you wanted, I, I feel like you could take it <laughs> um, and just give KC one of your other spots. I mean, technically, you bought the spot for him. Um, who, who's got the Nationals? Hold on. Um, the Nationals, KC Nation has the Nationals. <laughs> so um KC look at Polly's other spots Polly really does want the Nationals um look at some of these other spots I mean, I mean he has the Cubs he's got the Royals he's got plenty of spots in here he's got the Phillies he's got the Rays I don't think Paul is going to give up the Blue Jays um but maybe you could uh pay it for every for the fact that he got you spot in this and uh, take one of these other teams and give him the team he wants. Uh, yeah, give him the Nets. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, so let's... Uh, 
let's get Polly in here. Um, and then, Polly, I think you would be okay with giving a... Okay, so Royals. Okay, perfect. Um, so here's what we'll do. We're going to give the Royals to KC Nation. Um, where is that? Uh, where are the Royals? I saw that somewhere. Okay, so we're going to trade that up. So KC Nation now gets the Royals. Um, and Polly is going to move into that national spot, which technically is his spot anyways. Um, all right, so give them the Blue Jays. Yeah, we'll keep them with KC. Um, well, it's your spot. If you want me to give them the Blue Jays, just remember I pulled the Vladdy Auto last week. That was the thing that happened. If we pull another one, uh, Isaac, the Braves. Uh, who's got the Braves? The Braves. I think that's Polly that's got the Braves. Um, but let me check. Why am I not seeing the Braves? I never can find. Yeah, Polly's got the Braves. Um, so hit the Vladdy. Okay. So am I moving? So now I'm moving. K Casey Nation has now moved from a bought, paid, bought and paid for spot in this break. I mean, it, th this is the definition of moving on up. Um, so we're going to control C. We're going to move them off the Royals. We're going to move them into the Blue Jays spot. Um, Polly, I hope that your karma pays off and that your good deeds do not go unpunished tonight. And I hope we pull that bat down for you. Um, so we are putting KC into that Blue Jay spot. Okay. So let's see. Um, I think that's going to be all the trades. I think all the spots are spoken for. Kevin's card collecting. Um, I'm going to say, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull back. I think that's everything on the trades. I want to plug my computer back in, do all that fun stuff, and we'll get to breaking. Um, okay. Let me also hit save on this so I don't lose. Um, let me get back into the stream. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, so here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say going uh, trades going once. Trades. If I could type going twice uh, trades are God I am I can't type right now trades are closed oh KC Jays for Brewers are we really doing this is this a, is this a thing that's happening so we're gonna have to start figuring out which one of one which ones of these we want to open first um, Uh, I can't let you trade out of the Blue Jay spot. Um, cards for Jays. Um, Casey Nation, Jays for Brewers. Casey, you got to confirm that, that you want that trade. If you confirm that, I'll do it. Um, but. I need confirmation that you are. Yes, please do. And if, uh, wait, hold on. So here we go. Cards for days. Let me get back in here. Let me go find it. So, Casey Nation pulls out of the Blue Jay spot, and we're going to Brewers. Okay. And Cards for Days is moving in to the Blue Jay spot. Okay, so just so you guys are aware, here you go. I've got cards for days now in the Blue Jay spot, in the Brewer spot. I think after this I'm going to say trades are officially closed. So that's that. Um, let me just go make sure that there isn't. Um, okay, um, trades are closed. Okay, so... We're going to get to breaking. Here's what we got. We've got five boxes. Uh, 
we got 2018 Series 2. We've got the Tops Gallery. We've got the three chrome boxes. We are ready to get breaking here. Um, yeah, the trading is actually kind of... The trading does get fun. It's funny, too, because sometimes no trades happen whatsoever. And other times, trades happen constantly like they just did. Um, back in the game, what's going on? We're just about to get into the break. Um, you would be amazed... Oh, we got no more spots. They were actually just bought out about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, and we just went through a flurry of trades. I think most people traded out of their spots. But anyways, we're good to go. Um, so there are no spots in this break. Uh, by the way, if you watch the preview video, I actually added in a 2018 Series 2. So here we go. Uh, first one to put in there, uh, just put Chrome Update Gallery or Series 2. First one to put it in, that's what we're opening first. Thanks, back in the game. Yeah, um, my new, as you guys know, uh, Kevin, let's see. Uh, wow, so many trades. Yeah, I can't believe how many trades we got. Okay, so we're doing Gallery first. Ca uh, card Crew put it in. Um, that's the first one that showed up on my screen. So we're doing the big box first, guys. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move some of these off to the side over here just so we can create a little bit more room. Well, that cover, well, except for that covered up the, the cookie machine. We'll put them on this side. Um, we'll put them over here. And, okay, so that way, if we get a hit, um, okay, guys, so there's 20 packs on this, two autos. Um, sweet looking cards we should see some color um, a fun fun set to kind of end the collecting year off on I think most of the sets that are still due for 2019 are either draft sets um, or uh, really high end sets uh, here is the box loader um, hopefully that's not dinged up down there it came out a little weird um, but we'll put the box loader over there um, and then here is the 20 packs, empty box, there we go, a bunch of stuff. Okay, so let's get to ripping. And first pack. Thank you to everyone who bought into the break. Uh, before we get ripping, I want to wish good luck to everyone tonight. Oh yeah, that's right, these packs suck opening. Uh, they, these packs are worse to open than Pokemon packs. Um, and also wanted to do a quick shout out to my Patreon page. If you have not checked that out, let's go put one cent sports cards on Patreon. You'll find it. Um, really excited. I launched that today. So anyways, here we go. We're getting to break. There's Mr. Salvi Perez. George Springer. No trash can. That's the no trash can parallel right there. Um, Brian Reynolds, Ricky card pirates. Um, this is a short print for the Colorado Rockies. Charlie Blackman, uh, um, Elkanon the, has the Elkanon beard. Anything numbered 151 or higher is going to be a short print. The other way to know on these cards is it's got the artisans. It'll have a uh, it'll have a artisans or masters or apprentice stamp here at the bottom. Um, and so, oh yeah, you know what? I want to pull up who has the cards on this. So I think Colorado Card Crew has the. Pretty sure Colorado Card Crew has the Rockies in this break. Um, so let me make sure that we've got... So that's our first sleeve of the night. Um, and we've got Nicky Lopez of the Royals. Next pack. Oh, man, I tell you. Watch, watch this. Even if you open it from the bottom, it does not get any easier to open. The, well, that one opened all right. Um... But these packs, this is the third box of these I've opened, and they are not easy to open. Um, Luke Voigt, Yankees. Mitch Haniger, Mariners. Brandon Lau of the Rays. That's a nice little rookie hit right there. And another uh, insert hit for the Rockies. This is Nolan Arenado. Um, this is the Heritage insert, so not familiar. I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen these be uh, open, but so there is the Heritage, um, and for the White Sox, Eloy Jimenez. Um, so we're doing a few sleeves in this pack. That's a nice little pack right there. Um, what I'll probably will do to keep this break moving is not sleeve all of the 
um, inserts right off the bat, but they'll be sleeved before they ship. Uh, we will sleeve Eloy, obviously. Um, and let's see. Um, can you, oh, yes, I can remove the text from the screen. That's a great idea. Uh, one second here. Um, just give me, now that we've got this broke, uh, let's see, give me one second. There we go. It might show back up for one second, but it'll probably go right back away. There we go. Thank you for calling that out. I hadn't noticed it. Um, okay, so here we go. This is going to be, I think this is our third pack. Uh, just really hard to open. Um, okay, so David Peralta, Diamondbacks. And this is going to be, this is the first time I've seen this card. That is the Ronald Acuna Jr. That is a nice little artistic, I like that one. Especially with the 13s on his, so that's at the Braves. Um, here is Max Scherzer. That does not quite look like the Scherzer I know. Um, then we have the Master and Apprentice. That is Fernando Tatis Jr. And that is Manny Machado. So this is going to the Padres. And then we've got Chris Paddock, also of the Padres, rookie card. A lot of people think Chris Paddock is going to be a great pitcher. Um, so that could end up being a bigger hit in the future. Um, let's see. I notice that ripping these from the bottom generally tends to work a little bit better. But so there we go. Sometimes these don't, some of them are just really hard to open. I don't know why. Okay, here we go. There, there's you, Darvish. Um, look at how weird his eye, his back eye looks on that. Kind of an odd, but anyways, there's the you, Darvish. Uh, Michael Chavez, rookie card for the Red Sox. So there's a nice little Red, uh, Red Sox around the board with a little rookie hit. Um, we'll get that in a quick sleeve. Uh, Jake Bowers, Indians, and boom! The Ken Griffey Jr. Masterpiece. Um, this one is not paralleled. Um, I thought with all the yellow, but that is a Ken Griffey Jr. Masterpiece insert. I actually am going to give that one a sleeve. So that's a nice one for the Mariners. That's going to cards for days. Um, and Javi Baez of the Cubs to round out that pack. All right. I always love it when you first start a break. The chat kind of calms down a little bit. Um, all the trades are over, and all of a sudden, everyone's just kind of looking at the cards. So let's see what else we pull out of here. Um, we haven't found any color yet. We haven't found an auto yet. That is going to be Harold Ramirez, rookie card for the Marlins. Josh James, which, by the way, this is probably an error card because that is actually Framber Valdez. And if you get the Framber Valdez card, um, it's got Josh James on it. So um, you'll see some videos about that. This is, But it hasn't been verified that that is an error. It could just be really bad artwork. No one knows. Um, but if you look at their cards, you'll, you'll notice that they... The Josh James looks like the Framber Valdez and vice versa. Um, so anyways, we won't sleeve that one up yet, but be be aware of that. The Christian Yelich, uh, which is a sweet artist rendition of Yelich, um, and a nice little hit right here. I think there's two of these in the box. This is Willie Mays. Um, and a Nick Senzel for the Reds rookie card. Um, I think it was in Jabstream where he kind of said, where he wasn't big on the artwork for this. Um, I think he used the term, it looks like he's turning into an ape man. <laughs> um, I didn't think it was that bad, but those are Jab's words, not mine. <laughs> um, so let's see, next pack here. I'm opening these from the bottom like a Pokemon pack, because that's how they open. Um, Louis, Louis Severino, looks like we've got a green parallel coming up. Um, and 
Reese Hawkins of the Phillies. And the parallel is going to be a Josh Naylor rookie card. This is green. I think the greens are numbered to 250. No, they're numbered to 99. So this is 67 out of 99. So our first parallel card in the box is going to be a Josh Naylor. This is for the Padres. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Isaac had the Padres. So congratulations, Isaac. Isaac, normally when Isaac is in one of my breaks, he generally tends to hit some sort of parallel, some sort of auto. Um, I like to believe it's because he's got good karma. He's a good guy. So we'll put that one as kind of our first parallel hit. Um, and there is a Lou Gehrig. This is a short print. So this is a nice one. Um, nice short print, uh, high number short print, Lou Gehrig with the master's uh, printed at the bottom. So we'll give this one a quick sleeve. This is going to be for our Yankees. Um, that is going to Clark Z. Um, and for the Braves, Ozzy Albies to round out the pack. Check out the Will Smith for the Dodgers. It's crazy. Oh, I, I actually, I think, was it? I um, know oh the Will. We'll see the, we'll check out the Will Smith here in a second. Um, hopefully we pull one and we can all look at it together. I tell you, so, sometimes these, I'm telling you, these packs are insane. Um, okay, so if it's going to be, there we go. All right. So what I've been doing when that happens is you just kind of got to take it slow it's kind of it's kind of like that. Okay, so here we go. Dakota Hudson, by the way, another error card. Uh, this is most definitely not Dakota Hudson. Uh, that is Jack Flattery. So this is for the Cardinals. This one is I, that that is an error card. Um, so, anyways, um, I'm gonna get. In fact, I'm gonna sleeve that because this one I think is really close to being a confirmed error. There are a few errors. There's one that's actually I think a really big one. There's Mel Ott, and it's actually um, it's actually uh, Christy Mathewson, um, and it's a insert card. So we'll have to see on that. But I'm gonna go ahead and just sleeve that Dakota Hudson up. It's a rookie card anyway. There's the Bryce Harper. Um, Kyle Tucker, rookie card for the Astros. Still looking for our first auto. Um, that Kyle Tucker, that artwork maybe could have been a little better. Um, maybe with a little bit more detail, but still. Um, there's Blake Snell. This is the Heritage insert. Uh, Blake Snell looks like maybe he's been... Uh, Maybe he'd been hitting a little bit of the uh, Pakaloa before that drawing, but that could be me. And Justin Upton. Oh, wait, this is an insert that goes over here. Um, I don't know why they gave him such red eye on that. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Maybe something about Blake Snow we don't know. Um, hold on. So this kind of opened up odd. So we're going to open this from the other side. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, we've got Christian Stewart, rookie card for the Tigers. Lane Thomas, rookie for the Cardinals. Trevor Story, still looking for our first auto, um, which is surprising. We're about halfway through this already. Trevor Story for the Rockies and Master and Apprentice. So this one is, I think, going to be Hank Aaron and Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, this is a cool little um, insert for the Braves. Congratulations. That's going to Polly. Um, and Miles Straw, speedster for the Astros. That's another rookie. We'll put that over there. Um, okay, next pack. Let's see. Um, yeah, so the errors. Um, so I actually met uh, online. I met one of the artists. His name is Kevin. Uh, it's one of the artists for this set. And I actually asked him, how did they do errors? And I think the artists purposely did it. So they're not going to be corrected errors, um, but they are kind of ones that you just kind of got to find. Um, and he wouldn't confirm or deny that it was done on purpose, but pretty sure it was done on purpose. So here we go. Ryan Helsley, uh, Mookie Betts, Red Sox, Kevin Biggio. This is going to be a rookie card for the Blue Jays, which the Blue Jays, which are normally never traded. Um, I think I traded three times. I bet you I will never see that on a 2019 set again. We'll give that a quick sleeve. Chris Bryant. And here we go. This is the um, featured artist. This card won't go to anyone unless someone really wants a featured artist card. But these are the artists. These are some of the artists. Josh Trout. 
who you may know Josh Trout as a, I think that is a cousin or sibling or brother of Mike Trout. Um, and that is a Cole Stewart rookie for the Minnesota Twins. All right, next pack. Still looking for autos. Um, there are more than just rookie autos in here, too. You can pull uh, vet autos. So that's another reason why I kind of like this set. Um, it's not just rookie autos. Like, I think the Chrome set is. Um, so we'll see. Uh, looking for... There's a nice one. That is the Fernando Tatis. This so far... Um, this so far... It's my favorite card of the set. I really like that Fernando Tatis. Um, I'm going to give this a quick sleeve. And oh, oh, I got to pop some more sleeves out of my little bag here. Um, all right, so we'll sleeve up Fernando. Um, most cards will get top loaders later. We'll just try and move through this. Mike uh, Fultonowitz, um, I will never say that right. Who was it that just texted our messaged me the other day what the right way to say the name. I already forget it. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, I kind of thought this was going to be our first auto. There's a Taylor Ward for the Angels, but our first auto is going to the Twins. So the Twins, there is a Jake Cave. Congratulations. The Jake Cave rookie card auto for the Twins. Um, we will sleeve this and give it a quick top loader. Who had the Twins? That's going to Mr. El Kanan. Congratulations. Um, nice little Twins hit. Get that in a quick top loader for you. And we will put the Jake Cave back here. And to round out that pack, uh, let's see, this exact, that's it. Yeah, it's not how it is pronounced though. It's, uh, yeah, it's Mike Fultonowitz. <laughs> so, Fulton. Fulta Nainich. Yeah, I'm just never going to get that. <laughs> you could type it, and then like two seconds later, I'm going to be like, what was that again? Um, so congratulations uh, to El Kanan on the Jake Cave rookie card auto. It's actually a nice uh, artist rendition as well. Um, you'll notice on some of the artist renditions, some, some of them are better than others. I think they had, I want to say it's like 12 or 13 artists doing this. Um Maybe it's a little bit more than that. And it is funny to see the different styles, but they did do a good job of keeping them together as a family, I think. Um, then we've got Alex Bregman, Josh Hader, and this is the Aaron Judge. That's the first time I've seen the Aaron Judge. Nice uh, nice Aaron Judge base for the uh, Yankees. And our second masterpiece, this is George Brett. And this one is not numbered, but that is the George Brett Masterpiece card. That's for our Royals, um, which is KC Nation. Um, if I'm not mistaken, didn't, uh, no, the KC, Na no, KC Nation ended up, KC Nation moved all over. He's got the Brewers now. And then we got Corey Kluber to round out that pack. So, um, here we go. So, J.K. Our first auto, we've got a little bit of green. Would love to see some blue. Um, there's orange in this. Um, I think there's even red. Uh, Aaron Nola. Steven Duggar. Um, Paul Goldschmidt. See that? Paul Goldschmidt. That does not look like Paul Goldschmidt. So some of these artists are better than the other artists. And boom, there for the Red Sox. A nice Ted Williams Hall of Fame hit. And we'll round it out with a Josh Naylor uh, rookie card for the Padres. Which, so we've got the base and the green um, for Josh Naylor. Next pack, we've got Nicholas Castellanos, Castellanos for the Cubs. Nate Lowe for the Rays. That's a nice rookie card. Uh, Nolan Arenado, Rockies. And this is a short print for the Nationals. Victor Robles, short print. This is the Apprentice short print number... 193, so we'll give this a quick little sleeve here. Um, short print going out to the Nationals, which I'm pretty sure is Polly and John Lester for the Cubs. Um, all right, next pack. I think we've got, this looks like about seven to go on this. So we're still looking for that second auto. Still looking for a little bit more color. We'll see what we can find. Um, we've got Cole Tucker. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that they did him justice there, but uh, Dustin Pedroia, 
coming back again next year, supposedly. And there is the Will Smith that uh, I forget who called out the Will Smith. But yeah, the Will Smith card, um, a nice rookie card for the Dodgers. However, yeah, you ain't kidding. Um, I mean, I couldn't do it that good. So I, I'm not one that is here to rip another artist. But yes, that Will Smith card is... And well, he looks like he's 10. <laughs> uh, so Isaac, you can tell the short print a couple ways. Well, it's not, it's high number short print. So if it's number 151 on the back or higher, um, let me see. There we go. If it's number 151 or higher on the back, it's a short print. But the easier way to tell is it's actually printed down here like apprentice, master. Uh, some of them say artisan. So that's the other way you know. Um, so there's the Will Smith. And then we've got the Kyle Tucker rookie card heritage, another uh, rookie card hit for the Astros and for the Rockies. There's Garrett Hampson. Yeah, poor little Will Smith does look like he's ten. Um, I mean, he's a rookie, but geez, I, uh, <laughs> I actually that's actually a pretty fun card. Um, all right, so next pack here. Still looking for that auto. All right, here we go. We've got Colby Allard, Rangers. We've got Ryan Barucki, Blue Jays. Uh, Tuki Toussaint, Braves. And this one is going to be, are we really going to say that? Okay, yeah, we are. Sandy Koufax and Clayton Kershaw. Awesome master and apprentice card with the LA skyline in the background. Um, but at what point do we not call Clayton Kershaw an apprentice? Just saying. Uh, hey, three card, how you doing? Uh, thanks for joining. And then uh, Will Smith has Cheeto fingers. Does, does, wait, hold on. You're going to make me go back and look at this Will Smith again, aren't you? Um, he does not have Cheeto fingers. <laughs> and then to round out that pack, we've got Jonathan Villar of the Orioles. So here we go. Um, uh, if these packs were easier to open, this, these packs would go faster. Okay, here we go. We've got... Juan Soto, there you go, Polly. There's a Juan Soto for the Nationals. Zach Granke uh, in Houston Astros. Uh, looks like we've got a short print or a parallel insert coming up. So there's Zach Granke. Uh, we'll see if it's an auto. We still are owed an auto in this box. Uh, this is Trevor Bauer. And this is going to be, well, this is probably not autographed because he's dead. But that is Roy Halladay. Um, this is going to be numbered. Oh, and there's the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. So two nice cards. This one is numbered to... Uh, why can't I read that? 93 out of 250. Kind of hard to read over the printing, but it is 93 out of 250. So we're going to give this one a quick sleeve. And there is the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, I will pop Vladimir, I guess, in that top loader. Um, the Vladimir Guerrero Jr., they could have done him maybe a little bit more justice, but, um, not a bad, not a bad Vlad. Um, and then the Roy Halliday, which is a green parallel as well, numbered to 250. This is going out to the Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays, um, cards for days, gets two nice, uh, two nice hits out of the same pack. So we'll sleeve those up. Um, we'll put these up here. And then we are still in search of a second auto. Yeah, that holiday is nice. Um, I felt really bad when I said it might be autographed. That The chances of that were slim and none. If they were, I would question its authenticity. Uh, Tyro Estrada rookie card for the Yankees. There's Mr. Verlander. They did a good job on Verlander, I think. Mr. Max Muncy. Um, and this is going to be our second auto. It's going to be for the Pirates. That is Brian Reynolds. Um, for the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, this is a rookie card. We'll get this one sleeve. Who had the Pirates? Uh, Pirates are going to David. David, congratulations. David is our second, uh, was my second Patreon member. He got in at the $25 level. So glad that he, glad that uh, the patrons of the Patreon page have gotten a couple hits. Um so there's that one we'll put. Let's see, where do I want to put this one? I'm kind of running out of spots, maybe where these packs are at. Um, so glad that 
there's a little bit of luck for them. Um, there we go. And then to round out that pack, there was a Bryce Wilson rookie card as well. Um, yeah, the Brian Reynolds, that's actually a nice... Um, the Brian Reynolds is actually a nice little... Um, the artwork on it's really nice as well. So that's kind of a nice added bonus to that auto. Um, let's see here. So then we've got Trey Mancini, Sean Reed Foley, Blue Jays. Uh, there he is, guys. Cedric Mullins, who was waiting for it? You know El Kanam was waiting for a Mullins, so we made him happy. Oh, and this one's sweet, guys. This is a Nolan Ryan Masters uh, short print. So the, this is going out to the Rangers. Uh, who had the Rangers? Uh, Rangers is going to Colorado Card Crew. That is a nice uh, short high, uh, high number short print for Nolan Ryan with the Masters at the bottom, numbered to 157. Um, the f and then we've got Lance McCullers Jr. to round that out. I'm actually going to give Nolan the top loader as well. Um, I have a crush at school, so you know. Uh, I have a crush at school, so you know how I can get her to like me. Um, if you were asking me for advice on women, um, I'm not the right person, but maybe you can tell me. Um, I did end up marrying up, if you ask me. Um, there's something in our family that says the Phillips men have bad luck, but they know how to marry up, um, which is probably true. Um, what I've learned about women. If you are interested in getting a girl to like you, just be yourself, be confident, don't try and be someone you're not, um, and women really like honesty, and women really like when they get to talk. So my advice is shut up and listen to them, and be honest when you are talking, and just be who you are, and you could probably get most women you would want. Um, and then you'll probably find that most women you don't want, <laughs> but, but Jacob Nix, um, for the Padres, we've got Xander Bogarts. Um, there's the Mike Yastrzemski that's going to the Giants who had the Giants. Um, that's going out to golden rule. Congratulations, golden rule. That's the Giants right there. Um, junior car was drawn down by Kevin Graham. Uh, Kevin Graham was the guy that I met by the way. Um, the original drawing was nicer. Yeah, so, yeah, Kevin Graham was the one that I had talked to online. Um, I get women by showing them my Soto. <laughs> um, um, Miguel Andujar on the Yankees. And Domingo Santana for the Mariners. So we've got last pack here. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, come on. Of course, the last pack doesn't want to open. I will say one thing. These gallery packs, watch how, watch how much easier the chrome packs open. Okay, here we go. Shane Bieber, by the way, the Shane Bieber might be the worst drawing in the entire set. I mean, look at his teeth. I mean, he looks like a vampire. This drawing uh, leaves a little to be desired. Um, Sean Anderson. That's a nice one uh, for the Giants. That is a very nice uh, drawing. Um, here's Master and Apprentice. This is going to be Tony Gwynn and Manny Machado. Um, it's a nice little insert there for the Padres. Padres have had a nice little beat on this. Oh, and look at this. This is a nice one right here, guys. So this is the private issue. You get about one of these boxes. You get lucky if you get two. This is private issue. I think it's about one in every 14 boxes. So that's a nice little parallel insert for the Baru Crew. Um which is KC Nation. That is a Christian Yelich. That is a nice one to get. Um, so not, uh, I'm going to give this one a sleeve as well um, because these are not the easiest pulls. Um, so there is Christian Yelich. And then to round out the box, guys, that was the last pack. We got a Jaylene Beeks, and we pulled an auto of his out of Chrome earlier tonight. That's for the Tampa Bay Rays. So that is going to be the gallery box. We've still got plenty, four boxes to go. Um, so we'll pull these down and get ready for the next box. The first person to say uh, Chrome update or Series 2, we will break that. Yeah, that Yelich is sweet. Um, 
So congratulations to everyone who got in that break. I feel like we had a nice little mix of people who got uh, some nice little hits. So that's always good. Um, and then like the Nolan Ryan short print, the Roy Halliday was sweet. Um, and then, so let me get all these cards. Let's see. Chrome update. Okay, we will do a box of Chrome update next. And uh, move, give me one second to move some stuff over here so we can get this out of the way. Okay, so Chrome update. These, these should go pretty fast. Um, here we go. Yeah, the judge and babe. That's the inserts. By the way, the inserts in that set. Oh, wait, you know what? We're forgetting something, guys. The box loader. If I'm going to ask her out, where should I go? Three cards collect. Uh, how much money you got? And is do her parents know you're taking her out? Because if the parents don't know, um, I could tell you some stories about that. <laughs> um, but I won't. What I'd do is take her out. Don't take her out to dinner. Movie's okay. This is going to be another Christian Yelich, guys. Uh, some of these are actually... So the big thing on the top loader is some of them are actually hand-painted. Uh, but this is a Christian Yelich. By the way, the cut on this thing... Maybe it's just my eyes, but does that cut look weird? Like it's shorter on this side than it is on that side. So the cut might be a little off on that box loader. But it is Christian Yelich. Box topper, box loader. Um, so, um, so yeah, if you're going to ask her... Yeah, here, I'll show this to you guys one more time. So if you're going to ask her out, um, the mo movies are okay. If you're, if you're a teenager, a movie's not a bad thing to do. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. The dinner's where you get yourself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> but I've, again, if you go to dinner, just listen to her talk, shake your head, and say yes. That is the best advice I can give it. They love talking. Um, and if you're listening to them, um, they will appreciate you for that. Okay, so here we go. Seven chrome uh, boxes. I've done such a better job on my trash tonight. Um, okay, so here we go. Chrome update. Chrome date. Look at how easy those packs open. That's how a pack should open. Um, okay, here we go. Um, Alex Bregman, back on the Astros. Let's put these over here. So there's the Astros. Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, Gold Cup rookie. That's going to be for the Braves. That's for Pauly. Um, and we've got Walker Bueller. That's another one for the Dodgers. Uh, I will, I do sleeve up the All-Star Rookie Cups um, only because... They remind me of my childhood. Joey Gallo, first pack. Um, yeah, Shaq shows up and all of a sudden all the uh, brewers start showing up. Okay, here we go. Second pack of Chrome Pete Alonzo. There's the rookie debut card. Um, not a bad little hit for the Mets. By the way, who had the Mets? Um... Because now we're going to be, uh, that's Jaffa that's got the Mets. So congratulations, Jaffa. Um, try and get you some more Pete Alonzo's out of this before we're done. There is, uh, this is actually a nice pack here. So we got Mariano Rivera, Michael Chavez, and Nick Senzel. All nice rookie cards out of there. Uh, the Chavez and the Senzel are the base rookies as well, not the rookie debuts or the all-stars or something like that. Um, so nice little hits right there. Um, I will get the Senzel sleeved up as well, um, and we will move on. Okay, so Mariano Rivera for the Yankees. That is going to be, wow, look at this. Okay, so we have sleeved up more cards than we have um, just put down. So we'll go like this. Try and keep these organized to where you guys can see them all. Okay, next pack. All right. Luis Arise. There he is. Minnesota Twins. By next year at this time, this card will probably be worth more than it is right now, but I think he's been picking up steam. Um, CJ Cron used to be an angel. Pedro Avila, rookie card. Padres. And Adam Ottavino, Yankees. 
Next pack. We're going to have a Carter Keyboom Time rookie debut. Um, we'll give that one a sleeve. A lot of people, this one's going to Polly. So there's a Keyboom. Um, there we go. Uh, we've also got Carlos Santana for the Indians. And there he is, the GOAT, Mike Trout. Congratulations, Angels. Um, Mike Trout, no matter what, is getting a sleeve. And we've got Jackie Robinson, greatest moments, 150, um, 150 uh, 150th years insert. And next pack is going to be... Give my spot here. Um, KC Nation, um, if you email me, the, it's not a problem. Just email me the address that you want me to ship it to. Um, and I will ship it to that address. Um, and then what you're saying is, so you want the Brewers to go over to Shaq, right? Um, all right, Josh Bell, Matt Chapman, Shane Bieber, don't call me Justin, um, and Griffin Canning for the Angels. Next pack is going to be Nicky Lopez. That's going to be the Royals. Darwin's and Hernandez. We pulled his auto last week. Um, and we've got Ryan Helsley uh, of the Cardinals. And finally, the family business, Roberto Alomar, is giving it to you for the Indians. And last pack in the first Chrome box. We've got two more to go. Then we'll do the 2018 Series 2. Um, box, see if we can't find a bat down for Polly and some other rookies for other people. But there's Domingo Santana uh, for the Mariners, Josh Donaldson, uh, Corbin Martin, rookie debut for the Astros, and Nolan Arenado for the Rockies. So that finishes up that box. We'll get right into the next box. Um, ready? Um, if you were, so uh, if you didn't send it to the chat, do this. Email the address so that way I have it on file. I am uh, I'll put my email address in here. Um, so that way you've got it. Um, because I'm not I, I miss a lot of things in chat while I'm opening cards and trying to keep track of some stuff on this end. Um, so if you put it in chat, there's a good possibility I miss it. Um, so if you email it to me and just say hey, send it over here. It, it doesn't matter to me. That'll work. Um, and then what we'll do. All right, so next. Okay, here we go. So that box is empty. And here's the next chrome. Oh, well, that one opened up a little funny. So we'll see if we can salvage that. Sure we can. Oh, boy, this whole pack... This will, well, that's one way to open up a baseball card pack. Okay, we've got Matthew Beattie, rookie card for the Dodgers. That's not a bad one. Um, and then we've got Lane, so we'll put that over here. Uh, Lane Thomas, rookie card for the Cardinals. Jonathan Shoup, twins. And greatest moments, Ichiro, um, with an awesome Budweiser logo in the background. Um, next pack. Okay, perfect. Um, so, so Shakra, if you, um, yeah, if you want to email me your address, that that'll totally work, and then I will put your address into the address book as well, and we'll kind of be teamed up that way. So, there's Yasiel Puig on the Reds, uh, Mitch Keller, that's a rookie card for the Pirates, uh, Mister Clayton Kershaw, and Frankie Lindor. Next pack is going to be, hold on, hold on, we've got, it looks like there's an Acuna coming up here, family business, um, we've also got, well that's the second pack that opened that way, um, Wilson Contreras, Cubs, Austin Riley, rookie debut, 
and an Eloy Jimenez rookie debut for the Atlanta, for Atlanta and the White Sox. So I think that's our second Eloy we've pulled. Um, so let's see. Um, oh, you know what? I think you're right. Um, I can go back and look for that. Um, that's fine. Um, and then we've got the Ronald Acuna Jr., of the Atlanta Braves. This is Ronald Acuna giving people the family business. Um, next pack. Let's see if we can pull an auto out of one of these chrome boxes. That would be sweet. We pulled two last week. Um, Charlie Blackman. Lucas Giolito. Uh, Zach Britton for the Yankees. And Hunter Pence for the Rangers. Next pack. And we've got Brian Reynolds. That's going to be for the Pirates. I think that's the second one we've got. There's a Kevin Biggio base and a Vladimir Guerrero. So two more hits for our Blue Jays owner card for days. Um, there's the Kevin. There's the Guerrero. So... Man, I have gone through a lot of penny sleeves. I, I just pulled more out. Um, okay, so there's those. Um, in fact, we're now doing this. And then we've got the Steve Carlton or the Phillies. So two more packs in our second box of comb. We've got one more after this. Um, and we will see if we can get an auto or some color. We haven't pulled any color parallels out of these chrome boxes yet either. Um Freddie Freeman, Michael Brantley for the, uh, this is going to be for the Astros. And then we've got the Rockies, Trevor Story, and Michael Chavez, rookie debut. Uh, that is, for so, I always think that's a refractor because of the people in the background, but it is not. Um, okay, next pack. We're due for some color, if you ask me. Um, we've got... There he is, Mr. Mike Yastrzemski. That's going to be for our Giants. And, okay, hold on one second. Got to pull more of these out. Got a whole thing of these. There we go. I just pulled out all of them. Um, so let's see here. Giants is for Golden Rule. So there's the Mike. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Mike Yastrzemski becomes. Um doesn't have a ton of power. He, I mean, he's supposedly just a good hitter with some speed. So we'll see. Uh, there's another rookie for the Giants. That's going to be Sean Anderson. Uh, Austin Riley, base rookie. And to round out this second box, we've got a Vlad Guerrero. I did want to show you guys this card. Vlad Guerrero is now giving us the family business. Um, come on, Austin Riley. We know you want to go in there. Uh, so there's another hit for the Braves. That's going to be for Polly. And then uh, this card, the family business, this is one that you don't see a lot. For all the Vlads that you see people pull, this is one that you don't see all the time. So I kind of like that insert. Um, all right, here we go. Next break, or next Chrome box. Um KC owns the Blue Jays. No, uh, no. So he traded out of that and now card for days. So yes, we had two trades out of the Blue Jays spot, which was crazy. Um, then he's got the Brewers and now the Brewers are now going to go to, Sh to Shack Rat. So this is, if I keep all this straight, um, Vince Scully would have a great line about all the trades that just happened. I don't have the, I don't have the, the words that Vin Scully had, but Vin Scully would have a great line for how many trades and some of the confusion that we've had in this, but I will get it all straightened out. Um, and if I don't, we'll make people mad at me. I mean, that's what happens, but I'm pretty sure that won't happen. I will keep it straight. <laughs> um, okay. So here we go. Uh, Griffin, K this is our third box of Chrome that we're doing, Chrome update that we're doing here. So hopefully we can get an auto. I mean, we've opened three of them. It's not guaranteed, like I said, but we'll see what we can do. Griffin Canning for the Angels. Nicky Lopez, rookie card for the Royals. Darwins and Hernandez. Uh, are, or how is it that Jabs is saying? Uh, 
Darwin's on, uh, which may be the other way to say it. Darwin's on Hernandez, uh, rookie card, and then Ryan Helsley. Um, Darwin's on, I think it, which makes more sense. That is how it's spelled. So I'm probably the one saying it wrong. Um, all right, here we go. Second pack. We've got, I'd like to see some color. I really like the color. I don't think we got an auto on this one. Domingo Santana, Josh Donaldson, uh, Corbin Martin, rookie debut for the Astros. Frank Robinson, greatest players insert for our Orioles, which I think is El Canon. Um, it's a nice little Frank Robinson hit out of Chrome. And then it looks like we've got, looks like we're going to have a nice hit coming up here. It looks like it is going to be red. Um, we've got Nolan Arenado, Christian Yelich of the Brewers, and uh, Luis Castillo for the Reds, and our red parallel, it's going to be for the Twins, so let's see, who got the Twins? Um, dun, dun, dun. This is going to El Canon. El Canon, congratulations, because uh, you have a Jake Odorizzi to five. This is going to be the All-Star game. This is going to be numbered four out of five. Is that big enough for... Are we going to have to top load this? Are we going to do the Foghorn? Are we doing the Foghorn? This is not an auto, but this is out of five. Jake... Oda Rizzi, All-Star Game 2019. Congratulations. Sheboygan. Can I do it? Okay, okay. So, El Canon's got this Sheboygan. Um, here comes the muted fart that is the Phillips Foghorn. And within this, if you guys were not watching last week, what we have are one-touches um, of all different sizes so let's see if we can find a one touch. This one, that's to 35. We'll see if this one, I don't think that's actually going to work. Um, I think we need like a 55, but let me see what I got in here. Which one's this? That's a 75. That would work. Um, that's probably too big though. So hold on. Hold on. We'll just keep going to the cookie jar. See, there's another 35. There's a hundred. So they're all sorts of different sizes in here. We've got a bunch of them. It's, it's a cookie jar. Um, I should be able to just reach in there and get one. So let's see. There is a 55. We'll use that one. Um, pretty sure the 55 is what we're going to need for this. Um, so El Canon. Here, we'll do it for you again. So it kind of goes. I love the fog here. It's beautiful. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to one touch that for you. Um. So we did pull the nice, that's a Jake Odorizzi, um, and we <laughs> will, um, so Kaz last week when he was in the, when he was in the uh, stream said it sounded like a muted fart, um, which I'm not going to lie, it kind of does, um, so I want to be real careful with this, um, and we will get this in a one touch for you here real quick. So this is the second week in a row we've got to blow the foghorn. Um, and there you go. There is the odor Rizzi to five. So we'll so when we the way the thing I gotta do is I gotta figure out how to keep it. I gotta figure out how to keep it that loud all the time. Um, so I think that was the last card in that pack as well. It was. Um, so there is two five, Jake Oda Rizzi. Um to five out of this set is actually kind of really hard to pull. Um, so like that, uh, we'll take a look at the odds and see the chances of pulling a red out of that. So that's David Dahl, uh, Keston Herrera, rookie card for the Brewers. Um, so more Brewers hits. Tyro Estrada for the Yankees and Cecil Fielder for the Tigers. That's Cecil giving us the family business now. Um, how many packs left? Um, in this one, two, we got three packs left. Then we've got the 2018 Series 2. 
which is going to be 100 cards, 10 packs, something like that. Uh, Carter Keyboom, rookie card. That's a base rookie, so I'll sleeve that one up. Uh, we're also going to have Edwin Diaz, who fell off a cliff in 2019 when he went to the Big Apple. Um, Dallas Keuchel um, for the Braves. And Spencer Turnbull for the Tigers. Um, Elkanon, that's the whole point of breaks. You never actually know what you're going to pull. Um, yeah, you have had a great break night for sure. Um, there we go. Brendan Rogers, uh, Jorge Polanco and Justin Verlander. And finally for the Mariners, it's going to be the Ken Griffey Jr. Greatest Players insert. And our final Chrome pack. So we did not, unless we pull an auto out of here, we did not pull an auto, but we did pull a 2-5. Jake Odorizzi, so not a bad pull there at all. We've got Robbie Cano. Uh, it does not look like there's going to be an auto in here. Um, Robbie Cano, uh, Yasmani Grandal, Keston Hura, and Javier Baez. So that rounds out the chrome portion. I do want to look real fast. Let's take a look if we can see it on here. Uh, let's see. Orange. Uh, Refractor, purple refractor, blue refractor, green, uh, orange refractor, red refractor. I don't know. You guys probably can't see this on here. Um, red refractor is one out of 3,666 packs. So that, that is really hard to pull. Um, one in 3,666. Uh, what's that? Three? Was it 3,366? Hold on. Um, one, th uh, one in 3,666 packs. So, yeah, that is a tough card to pull. Congratulations, Kanan. I'm going to take a sip of beer for that one before we break this 2018 Series 2. So now it is time uh, for the 2018 rookie cards to shine. Uh, we'll see if we can... It's... A long shot to get a bat down, but I have seen them pulled out of the blasters. There are videos you can view online of them being pulled out of blasters. Um, so we're going to keep the we're going to keep that one up there, just because that is a sick hit. Um, we'll keep that up there. Um, so here we go. Last box of the night. Thanks again to everyone who got into the break. Re really want to. Uh, we appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Uh, thanks, Polly, for giving me the bump that it kind of needed to get people rolling on it. Um, and so here we go. This will be the final one of the night. Um, good, good luck to everyone on this final box. We'll see what we can pull out of here. Um, there's the commemorative patch card. I'll put that at the bottom. And then we will get to cracking some Series 2 of 2018. 10 cards in each pack and we'll be on the lookout for rookies um, and whatnot. So there off the bat future star Paul DeJong. This is for the Cardinals. Um, we'll start a... Yeah, we'll do it like this. Um, no, that's right. 2000 Series 2 where we have to constantly flip cards around. Uh, Victor Cardaini for the Cubs. Uh, ben Revere, well this isn't going to work, let's put these over here, um, there we go, Ben Revere for the Angels, Noah Syndergaard, and there's a gold refractor Kyle McGrath rookie card for the Padres, this is numbered 137 out of 2018, so that is the gold uh, parallel, nice little rookie card hit for the Padres, that's going to be Dave Winfield for the Yankees. Um, oh wait, that's what, that's what we, there we go. Now we've got this straight. Um, yeah, a soda would be awesome. Uh, there's the Aaron Judge. These are the inserts that are in uh, the blaster boxes. Um, there's a Bryce Harper for the Nationals. Um, and then we've got Santiago Casilla for the A's. We haven't seen a lot of A's hits tonight. Uh, Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Freddie Freeman... Um, I don't think he's a secret anymore. His cards have gone up. But for a long time there, you could get Freddie Freeman cards really cheap. That is not the case anymore. Uh, 
Ryan Sharif, or Sheriff, depending on who you're asking. That's a rookie card for the Cardinals. Uh, we'll put that one over here. Uh, Andrew Tellez, Tolez for the Dodgers. Uh, this is the Cincinnati Reds team card. Uh, Adam Duvall, this is the throwback jersey. Another hit for the Reds. There's a hit for the Nationals. Victor Robles, that's a rookie card future star. We'll give that a uh, little sleeve. So there's Victor Robles. Another Braves hit for Pauly. Um, Chance Sisko for the Orioles, that's a rookie card as well. Um, JC Ramirez for the Angels. Uh, Julio Teheran for the Braves. And here we go, we're doing the card flips again. We got Jim Johnson and Brad Brock. Oh, good, Paul. Uh, yeah, the Victor Robles, that's sweet. Glad to pull it for you. Um, Perfect. Hey, uh, check rat. That's perfect. Um, just, I, I mean, I'm sure I had it, but thank you for making me not have to go back and look for it. That is helpful. We will get all these Brewers cards out to you. Um, so here we go. We've got Andre Ethier. Looks like we've got a, a rainbow foil parallel coming up. Um, Adam Eaton, Nationals. Uh, the Rays team card. Rays looking a little hapless in that team card. Um, Kurt Suzuki for the Braves. And the Cardinals, Yadir Molina. That's a nice little rainbow foil of future Hall of Famer Yadir. Um, that's going to go out to our Cardinals team. Who had the Cardinals in this break? Um, Cardinals, Cardinals, Cardinals. That's going to El Canon as well. Um, there we go for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers. That is a rookie card, instant impact peril, uh, insert card. Um, so that's of Devers. Then there's the Judge. This is where he's getting the Jackie Robinson Award. And then we've got the Gregory Blanco, as Drupal Cabrera, and Tommy Joseph. Next pack we're going to have... Mr. Big Nap, Big Fly, Big Nap, Mike Napoli, Mike Zunino, Mariners, uh, Kyle Hendricks, Greg Bird, Yankees. Uh, here's one for the Phillies. This is Aaron Nola, future star. We've got George Springer, legend in the making. And for the Red Sox, the Andrew Benditeni, Benditendi, Benitendi. Got to say it like eight times. I um, Perfect name for the New England area. Um, that is a Topps All-Star Cup. Um, Herman Marque uh, Marquez for the Rockies. That's another uh, Gold Cup All-Star rookie. And then we've got Chris Taylor and Miguel Rojas to round out that pack. Um, all right. We've got something that says that you can get cards now. Um, so we will throw that out. Um, then we've got Gorkis Hernandez, Adam Frazier, uh, David Wright for the Mets, Houston Astros team card, Johnny Bench, that's a nice all-star, 83 uh, insert, Aaron Judge again. So the Yankees will have a few of these. Um, those are all going out to Clark Z, Drew Pomeranz, um, Jason Castro for the Twins, Greg Bird, and Scott Schiebler. Schiebler, Schiebler, Schiebler. All right, then, let's see. Um, still looking for some of the bigger um, names in this, but we will see what we can get. Dylan Maples, Josh Donaldson. Um, Drew Smiley, um, San Francisco Giants, that's the team card, Minnesota Twins team card, and Keon Bro uh, Broxton for the Brewers, that's the throwback jersey, uh, Dansby Swanson for the Braves, future star, um, then we've got uh, Derek Holland, Matt Stram and Michael Brantley. So I think we've got four packs left. 
see what we can pull. And we're going to have a Jose Ozuna for the Pirates. Uh, Her uh, Gerardo Parra, Rockies. Um, Corey G uh, Gear Gearin. Greg Garcia. Jose Canseco, long ball legend for the Athletics. A nice little insert hit for the A's there. Ozzy Albies, rookie card legend in the making for the Braves. Um, this one, I'm going to check on the back of this one. Because... No. Okay. Um, it seems like an awful dark legend in the making card. Um, Cole Hamels. This is Keon Kila. Eduardo Escobar. And Travis Shaw wind out that pack. Yeah, no, it. Well, is that black or is that just. Is black an actual parallel? It seems like an odd color for a parallel, but I could be wrong. Um. Either way, it's Ozzy Albies. It is a rookie card insert. Uh, Manny Margot, future star for the Padres. Uh, Kyle Farmer for the Dodgers rookie card. Uh, John Jay, Royals. Corey Seager. And we're going to have a Hunter Renfro for the Padres. No longer my favorite Hunter Renfro. Uh, the Raiders now own the, my favorite Hunter Renfro. Brian Buxton for the Twins. That's another insert. Uh, we've got Hanley Ramirez, Red Sox. Um, Scott Kingry rookie card for the Phillies. That's a nice little Phillies rookie card. Um, give that a quick little sleeve. And then we've got D. Gordon and Lance McCullers. Face is white. Next short is blue. The most rare is black. So, um, but is that a black one? I mean, is that considered... I guess we'd have to look it up. It is not numbered. I know that. So, let me know. Let us know on the Aussie. It does seem like an awful dark card. Um, but I would think if it's really rare... Um, I mean, I guess we could look at the Legends in the Making. Insert blue, black... Oh, wait, no, gold is the hard one. Black is 1 in 24. So I would call that, I would probably say that that is black. If gold is 1 in 2,000 packs, red is 1 in 13,000. Holy smokes. Um, so the red is almost impossible. Um, Alright, so here we go. Felix Jorge, rookie card for the Twins. The Twins have had a nice little break. Um, Angels, Andrew Haney. Hopefully he can stay healthy. We've got Michael Taylor for the Nationals. Uh, Brandon Guire for Guyer for the Indians. Um, I'm going to try to keep an eye out for short prints as well. Eric Thames. Um, there's another chance. Cisco for the Orioles. That's going to be an 83 insert. Another Yankees, uh, Aaron Judge card. This one is the 2017 Silver Slugger Award. Wade Miley on the Brewers. We'll talk about an offseason pickup in 2018 that really worked. Um, Victor Martinez for the Tigers. And Curtis Guru Anderson. Um, oh, yeah, there's a ton of judges. Uh, there was a whole insert um, in 2018, a whole insert set in this series that was dedicated to him in the blaster boxes. So plenty of Aaron Judge. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of those or not. If you're a fan of Aaron Judge, that's a fantastic little subset. Uh, Malik Smith, Tampa Bay Rays. Logan Morrison, also of the Rays. Um, Daniel Nava, Pirates. And we have a gold coming up. This is Alex Cobb. Um, and then we've got the throwback jersey. This is going to be Lance McCullers. Um, and then this one is also going to go to the Brewers. This is a Matt Garza. This is going to be numbered 370 out of 218. Um, so not a, So there's a Max Garza. Not a huge hit, but another one for the Brewers. 
Ryan McMahon for the Rockies, Clint Frazier for the Yankees, and who do we got here? We've got Travis Jankowski for the Padres, and we will round out the set with Cole Calhoun, who the Angels did not pick up his option. He is a free agent, uh, way underrated player, great right fielder. Um, and then the final pack, we will do the MLB Independence Day commemorative patch. We're going to get a nice, clean USA flag on here. Um, and we will pull it out this way. It's going to be Addison Russell for the Cubs. So there you go. You got Addison Russell right next to the sweet manufactured relic of an American flag, which if you're going to manufacture a relic, you ought to manufacture the flag. I don't really get that. Uh, but it is a cool card nonetheless. Um, this will go out to our Cubs. This is going out to Addison Russell. I think I even have a sleeve for this. Um, give me a second here. Let me pull from a different stack. Oh yeah, this will work. Um, so there we go. Addison Russell. We'll at least sleeve it. Um, so that is the break guys again thanks to everyone for getting in uh had a ton of fun actually doing that break um still can't believe the to five take to rizzi um so this is a nice sweet little hit for our boy kanan um really kind of a cool card so with that um oh wait hold on i definitely will pull uh so there we go. Um, yeah, so you guys, uh, thank you again. Um, I know I've mentioned it a couple times tonight, but uh, it, do check out the Patreon page. I think I've got some cool stuff um, for, a, for so a small pledge on Patreon that you guys may be interested in. Just launched it today. A couple people have already joined. Uh, Clark, no problem. Congratulations on, the, on getting the Yankees. Um, and then uh, Colorado Crew, thank you. Um, so other than that, let's see, what time do we got? We got 11, it's about 11.30. Um, let's see, just kind of wondering if there's any, if there's any more things I could break for you guys. Uh, I think I broke that one. Um, I'm, let's see, I do have a couple more. Let's see, how many of these do I got? Um, a lot of people have broke, break these. Um, yeah, um, I, th I think that was a pretty even break for everyone. I mean, obviously some teams are going to get more hits than others, but it's always kind of nice when it gets spread around a little bit. Um, so, unfortunately, we didn't pull a bat down. If we would have pulled a bat down, I I would have ran upstairs. You guys would have seen me disappear. I would have had to have wait. I would have had to have woke my son up. He he wants a bat down more than more than any of us. He figured out about it, and I think he just likes saying bat down. He's seven and a half years old. Um, I think he really likes saying bat down. Um, I think a team break like this would be a good way to break it. Uh, cards for days. If you got four Topps Chrome update, it's not a bad way to break it. A lot of people have been buying Topps Chrome update to break. Um, I know uh, back in the game who was in here earlier, I don't know if back in the game is still in here. Uh, one of the things he does is personal breaks. I think he sells them and ships them for $32. I know they're $21, but it's still not a bad deal considering he's going to – he'll sleeve them for you. He's going to ship them for you. So he's not – if he's buying them at the $20 price after taxes and everything, I think he'd get up to around 22 bucks. So that's actually not a bad deal for – um, getting them all sleeved up, getting them all shipped to you. Um, if he hits something nice, he'll put it in a top loader for you. It's not a bad deal. Um, so, hey, Elkanon, uh, have a good evening. Thanks for joining. Glad you could get in on the break. Glad we pulled some nice uh, fire for you. Um, I'll try and get out onto your stream again tomorrow. I know a lot of the times you're streaming at lunch, and it's like because you're a couple hours behind me, it's like the busiest time of my day. So if I can try and get in there, I'll get in there. Uh, but thank you for joining. Um, yeah, so the four boxes, that would probably be the best way to do these. It would be a $5 break. Um, I did one of those 
what did I do? My break was, in fact, I, this was the break that I did. It was a $5 break. I did, let me see if I can pull this out here. Um, I did a Topps Holiday box, a Topps Chrome box, and a Topps 2018 Blaster. This is a really popular box right now. This has a Acuna bad up. This has so many rookies in it. Every time I open one of these, I get something great. Um, so a personal break. Uh, Polly, what would you want to personally break? I've got a couple things that would make kind of make sense on a personal break. Um, I would do the same price that BITG does on these. Um, you know, I think he does. I think I think he does them for like thirty. Well, he he has the ninety nine cent thing and the free shipping, um, but I don't know if the shipping's actually free. I think he just kind of works it into his price. But if BITG's here, he could probably tell us more about that. Um, so let's see uh, the next. So um, here's what I can do. If you want me to break, like, are you talking about Chrome, Polly? Because I actually have. Here's what I got. Um, the holiday, for some reason, seems to be harder to find right now than the Chrome. Um, I think everyone bought the holiday, and then everyone got burnt out on holiday really fast. But I do have four boxes of Chrome. If you want to buy in on one of them, um, you got it, Canon. Do uh, you have a good night? Um, if you want to buy one of them, I'll let you like pick what box you want. Um, and then, um, oh, that down box. Um Let's see. So one of these boxes, I think I do have, let me see. I got the, I think I have, yes, I've got one, two, um, let me move the chrome. Now I'm all, now I'm all over the place. <laughs> Um, let's see, I've got one, two, is that a third one way back here? Oh, this is the hidden one. Look at that. Maybe that's the one with the bat down. Um, I've got one, two, three of those. And if you want me to break it for you, um, let's see what, let me, I don't really, I don't really know. Um, I had planned on kind of using these in mixer breaks, but if you want to do a personal break, just give me one second. I'll figure out what I could do one for. Um, and then I just got to get, where is it? Where is it? I got to pull up some stuff. So the 2018, I mean, I'll tell you what, um, I'm not quite sure what these are selling for right at the moment. I think Blowout Cards was doing some sort of a deal on them. Um, I know what I bought them for, um, and I'll give I, I will give it to you for a fair price. Uh, here's what I can do on these. Um, that's why I wanted to go back and look because I remember I got some sort of a deal on these back in the back in the day. Um, I just want to make sure I'm actually looking at the right thing here. Um, yeah, I think I am. Because um, sometimes I go back and look at these. So here's what I would do. Um, what did I say I'd do them for? Because it is kind of a, I mean, it's 100 cards. You've kind of already got shipping on one of them, on the other stuff. So why don't I do this? Um, I would do these. What, what did I? Why don't I, I, I would, because normally what I would say is I would do one for 50 bucks, but I, I'll do it for 45 if that works. I mean, I think, I think that's kind of fair and I would let you pick which one you wanted. Um, so it's up to you. Um, just let me know. If not, no pressure. It's not a big deal. Um, cause I know that the prices on the 2018 series two have kind of fluctuated a little bit in the last couple of weeks. So I'm not exactly sure what they're going for now. I, I just know what I bought them for, and I've been holding them for about two months. Um, two months ago, that bat down Acuna was the hottest thing in the world. Um, so that's, uh, it's not quite as hot, but so just let me know. Um, and then on the Topps Chrome, I would do a personal break on these guys for like 32 bucks. Um, and we would call that shipped. So just let me know on that. 
Yeah, um, that's not a problem, Polly. I mean, I get it. That's why I was trying to look and see um, what I could do them for. Because um, I remember when I, I think the price on these have come down a little bit from when I bought them. That's why I'm trying to get them into mixer breaks. It's a, it's a little bit easier for me to make up some of the costs of what I paid for these. Um, the other thing, let's see, the other thing that you might actually be more interested in would be... Um, I know that's Spotify. The other thing that you might be interested in would be, um, where are they? Let me see if I can find them. Um, if you want 2018 and if you're looking for Sotos and stuff, um, would be these guys. These are the, uh, these are the big old, not the fat packs, but the hanger packs, the 72 cards of the 2018 update. Um, the hanger packs, I mean, these things are hot. I would do one of these, 40 bucks shipped. Um, these are pretty nice. So just let me know. Um, or if anyone else wants that, I could do that deal. We'll sit here and rip all night if we can. Um, actually, I can't do that because I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> but you know, I, I am also really proud of myself. You should see how clean I, I kept my trash area. I actually kept everything in. Normally, I just have like a stack of cards. So anyways, um, yeah, just let me know on that. Um, and then, but if not, no pressure. Um, kind of up to you guys. So, yeah, I can do these for 40. Uh, I'll do one of these for 45. Um, these would be 32. Um, and... Hell, if we wanted to pop that that other Topps Gallery box I got, I want to get into that box. I, I think I really, I, I think I like the Topps Gallery stuff a whole bunch. Um, Polly, the other thing we could do, um, I haven't decided what to do with this, but I actually have a hobby box, which is a much better chance at a bat down Acuna. Um, that one, I, I don't know how to sell this thing. That's the problem. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I know how to sell it, but do I, do I sell it as like as part of a big break? Do I sell it as corners? Um, do I sell it as like a personal break? Um, and that's where that's where I've been. That's why I've just been holding on to it because the other thing is I, I keep going. If I just hold on to it till the next season, this thing will probably be worth even more. Um, but if I did corner stacks out of the hobby box, um, what if I said, because I, mean, I would have to crack that thing. I mean, it is still sealed and everything. Um, what if I said uh, corner, and I'll let you pick your corner. Um, what if I said 50 bucks, and that would be shipped? And that would be out of the hobby box. I mean, I think, what do we have here? I, I'm pretty sure it's 36 cards. Um, yeah, 36 packs. So, and I'll let you pick the corner. Um, because those boxes, and those boxes are going, you know, I think like retail. I I think you can get them for like 184 and that's before taxes. So that's kind of like what I would, I mean, that's kind of, if I did a corner, that would probably be the best way because I get it, it's like, I'm not going to sell you the whole box, but if I pop that corner, um, I can't put it into a break, that's the only issue, but, you know, whatever, I've actually, I've actually gone back and forth, um, on, do I just break it for myself, because I want to bat, bat down Acuna too, um, but anyways, just let me know, no big deal, and then there's, those guys, and if anyone else, I mean, I feel like I'm talking to Polly here, but if anyone else sees anything out of this that they might be interested in, just say the word. Um, and if not, we we can uh, go on to Dave Durango's stream because I, my guess is he'll be on um, in a little bit. Um, yeah, so this thing is totally sealed. Um, I have not cracked it. I've been dying to. But it's kind of one of those. Okay, yeah. Um, I know. I, I'll tell you what. Um, 
I'm probably going to figure out how to put that into a brake. Um, but that's the whole thing. I, I like to try and keep my brakes a little bit cheaper, like in the 5 to $10 range. I just don't know with a $200 box unless that's the only thing we're breaking. But then that says, yeah, but everyone's going to want the Brave. So I feel like you got to do a mixer so other people have a chance at some cards. It's just a hard box to put into a mixer break without the break going up to like 20 bucks a spot or 25 bucks a spot. Um, because what I would love to do, um, the break I want to do, I just don't know that people have the money for it, is to do that break. Um, is to say... You know, it's just an expensive break, but this is 2000 Update update Series 2. This is like a retail box, but these things are like amazing. And then you add that with this. Um, that would be a really cool 2018 break, and I think I'm going to hold on to it for next year. Um, yeah, and then exactly, wait wait until, I, I actually think I'm going to wait until the 2020 baseball season when the hobby, it kind of picks up again in the spring and through the summer. Um and it kind of falls off in the fall when everyone's paying attention to football and hockey and basketball. But um, this is a break that, unfortunately, I think by next year, by next summer, um, if Acuna starts off hot again, oh, my God. Um, and if Soto starts off hot again. And if Shohei's back on the mound, I'm telling you, these boxes are going to go up and up and up. Um, that's why I've kind of been holding on to them um, and not – so, but yeah, I mean, I agree. And plus right now it's just a really hard box to, this box in particular is really hard to mix with others. So is this, I mean, this box, um, these are all going for, if you're on eBay right now, these are like a $250 box. Um, and then this thing's like 200 bucks. So you're going, how do you put that into a break and still make it 10 bucks? You can't. Um, so anyways, I will figure out some way to maybe either do corners on them, um, I'll figure out some way to do them um, or I'll get the itch over the holiday break and break it myself and maybe I'll find some. I don't know. But anyways, um, well, if um, if I don't got anything else going on, I do want to remind everyone about the Patreon. Um, Isaac was uh, the inaugural member of the Patreon page. So uh, I want to give a shout out to Isaac. David uh, was the second one in. He bought in at that $25 level. Um, the $25 level does get you free. Uh, free $10 break every month, uh, break credit every month. Um, it also is going to get you packs of newer cards, um, 2018 or newer. Probably a lot of the stuff that you would see here. Um, like, for example, I've got that Chrome Jumbo box. Um, probably some stuff out of there. Um, so it'll be newer cards, cards that are kind of relevant in the, in the collecting community at the moment. So I'm not talking, you know, you don't get a random 1994 Don Russ something or other. Um, so we'll be doing that. And then there's also shout outs. Um, there's links I, I'm given on every one of my pre-recorded videos, which I do quite a bit of those. Um, I'm given um, not only a name shout out to you, but also going to link to your page and all of my videos. Um, so go ahead and check that out. Um, and then... Uh, I'll buy, oh, Paulie, you'll buy both for, you'll buy both for a hundred right now. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to do that, but I do appreciate the offer, Polly. It, it never hurts to ask. <laughs> um, but, um, okay. So with that, um, I think I'm going to call it a night cause we're getting kind of close to midnight. Um, and then we will, um, probably be streaming again. I got to figure out what the next break is going to be. Uh, I got the one cent, uh, reveal video. I think that's premiering on Thursday. So that's going to be happening. I'm trying to avoid, I keep running into jabs on Wednesday night. So, um, no one's watching the one cent video or not as many as that used to. So I think it's cause I keep going up against jabs, but, um, so I'm going to try and avoid that this week. Uh, we may do another gallery break next week. We'll look into it. Um, I, I do have some tops high tech, not a great product to break cause there's not enough cards in it, but if I can get that into a mixer, uh, that does have three auto. So I might figure out how we're going to do that. Um, uh, but anyways, with that, you guys really want to thank you again, um, for getting in the break. 
Um, if I have questions, I'll try and get everything shipped by Thursday slash Friday this week. Um, I do got a busy day at work tomorrow, but I should be able to get most of this sorted and kind of into packages tomorrow night. And then with that, uh, I hope you guys have a good evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be good to each other. Uh, good luck on your pack searching. And with that, you guys have a good night, and we will talk to you next time. Take it easy.